What is up, people? So, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to uh, a early, unexpected one uh, stream. I didn't even expect to go on, so didn't have a lot planned, but uh, definitely got some beautiful gems from uh, Jose's uh, stream that we were watching er that I was watching earlier. Let's see if I can get the setting over here, and I'll get that link out. One second. I'm trying to find the right setting. There we go. Where is it? There we go. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get that link out there. And we're going to see where this goes. Um, kind of was having a conversation with uh, The Plain Truth earlier. And uh, so, and we were talking about something that kind of, uh, I'm not going to say irritated me. It didn't irritate me. It's just the fact that if you're going to have an idea of how something works and you're going to ask questions about it, then you've got to be willing to understand what explanation is um we were talking about the dryer compass uh, i think we'll get into it in a little bit how you doing hey. you hear me hello 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 what oh what's up sir <laughs> how you doing good 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 yeah i was kind of just talking about um what we were talking about earlier i mean it's kind of hard to have the conversation with 10 different people in the, in the chat but uh we were talking about the gyro compass and the differences and you're asking questions about it um I felt that I was. T I, I explained it as as simple as possible, but I think at, after listening a little bit longer, maybe your question wasn't what it does, but how does it do something different? Well, I guess the thing that I was trying to figure out, right? You know, so you're you're trying to figure out what isn't Travis getting. I started thinking, what do I need to change about my question? So I thought that perhaps saying, okay, take out the alleged detection or measurement of rotation and what do you have well 
it, well then essentially you have a, uh, a it's not a compass but it's it, it it still would give you the your headings and your bearings upon where everything else was where a compass doesn't do that just taking and that's taking out okay. just the, the rotation okay but, sure sure and to me that simply sounds like what i have in my car except it's on the ocean reference points right but you would have reference points though it's just you Did we talk over each other? Yeah, I think so. My bad. I apologize. No, it's okay. I, I'm I'm saying I don't think it's anything more than GPS. And if that's the case, I don't see how that proves Earth rotation. Okay. Oh, okay. Perfect. Um, I would say where GPS. Well, GPS. I guess you would already have a. How do you think? I, I know how, how I want to say it trying to get it out so it makes sense um okay gps would give you your location in respect with everything around you whereas in with the gyroscope you probably still would have to plot your area or you would have to plot that into a computer or something like that i guess if that makes any sense where sure i mean I, G, yeah you know what i mean gps is gps shows you where you are whereas in gyroscope you have to Physically, either put in a program or plot yourself where it is. I mean, and, and I know that's not the greatest that's explanation. That's it. Say again. They just point to a direction. Both compasses, the gyro compass and the magnetic compass, all their function is to do is just point to a certain direction. Well, a gyro compass. That's all they tell you. Well, a gyro compass gives you your your coordinates as well in relation to wherever you're going. Because remember, I kind of gave that. I, I don't think so, Sean. I don't know if I even. I, I don't think so. I think they have to plot it in the map and stuff. Yeah. Well, for GPS, you don't. And a compass, you don't. A compass, you don't have that option at all. Right, but isn't that still? touching on the area of direction we're just dealing with direction or <coughs> location but that's yeah, the yeah. same on right yeah but that doesn't prove anything sean you're, you're right you're, that, it, you're, you're right in a sense of it see I, i'm not an expert on a gyro compass so i don't want to I, I i don't know exactly the point of how it does the whole showing it spins the earth rotates i mean but in the sense of just the difference between the gyro compass and and a compass, I can easily tell you the difference between those. Whereas, in like you were saying, location and location and what else, Montreal? What did you say? No, it, it, they both just point to the location. They don't tell you where on Earth you are. No, you said direction just, and location. It just points you to north. Let's say. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Well, a gyro compass. That, that's does what I. Well, if I did, then I misspoke. Then, I, then I misspoke. Oh, okay. Well, a gyro compass gives you your your location, direction, and heading. And the heading is the most important because you can be like I was saying in that illustration I was showing. You can go north and drift east to west for as far as you know the drip, the current will take you. The difference is is that a gyro compass tells you if you're drifting. Gyro compass says if you're off heading and it'll get, put you back on the right place. Um, the main way I knew that was because they use them to to find those channels when it is foggy or it is out of range to be able to see. Is there? I think that's where the misunderstanding comes in, John. Why? You know there. where north is. Well, north is 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 north, but it, there's a difference between knowing where your heading is. Because, like I said, you can drift from east to west and still be heading north. Oh, great, Bob! Bob joined in. He, know, he'll uh, he'll, he'll give us some clearance here. Uh, you're you're there. hey guys. I'm actually doing some editing right now, so I'm kind of listening peripherally. Okay, hey, well, it's been a while. It's good to see you again. Um, well, I missed you, man. Yeah, it's been a, uh, actually there was a few questions I had, um, I, but it, it'd probably be I probably asked to DM you or something like that because I'm not sure. Uh, 
how to ask it even if and i gotta well, go I just thought about it now just now well i i just thought about it remembering a topic but i don't remember the question so i, I gotta remember it first um but i'll get to you on it it's not that it's not even that big of a deal it's just a elementary question um but when it came comes to this gyroscope topic so i'm trying to draw something up so i can show it real quick um the, th the problem i would have travis is that it's I don't know if you guys are understanding the difference on what it does compared to how it works, because there's a difference. You there, Travis? Yeah, I'm just listening. I didn't know you wanted uh, me to. Uh, I, I, I hear I, you, I Sean. Didn't, I didn't oh, know my... you wanted me to respond. Oh, my problem. No, I'm just no problem. listening. Yeah, yeah, no problem at all. No problem at all. Um, well, Montreal too, because Montreal's the thing is. Montreal's topic to start with. Um, I'm trying to finish this so I can show you. So, like, when we're talking, when you're talking about the direction, and you're talking about where you are, you wouldn't know where you are from the start, and then you would need all the the software to to explain where you are in relation to you know speed, where the currents are, and at that point, you, you, once you leave any coastline or leave any again reference point none of those things matter you need something that will tell you where you're at tell you the direction you're facing in relation to where you've been so that drift and everything like that doesn't just take you away you know what i mean if you know the headings you can then use that the gyroscope but a compass isn't going to give you okay the same. so good okay yeah so i again i'm not a mariner so I'm going to be sounding like, uh, you know, in kindergarten. So if I, if I'm old school, right. If I'm like, ah, I am not going to get any electronics. I'm not doing any, I'm just going to use my compass, my sextant and my maps. And, um, and I've got these really reliable maps and they show me where, uh, Atlantic currents are. And, you know, they show me this, that, and the other. And, and I, and I get to where I'm going just using those, those things. Right. I can do that. No problem. Mm. Okay, so when I when I said before, you know, if, if someone was, if any of you guys were salesmen, I would say, yeah, I'm not going to buy your product, right? So convince me that I need your product. Like, why? Okay, so for you, for you, okay, you would okay, say. Okay, I get an answer because if you, if you were to actually do that, Travis, if you were actually be on a boat and do that and plot your course the entire way, you would notice the drift as you plotted it. And so then instead of needing a gyro compass to tell you there's a drift, you would tell you there was a drift because your plot would show that because your mast would drift off course constantly and you would have to correct. So You're welcome. I, I'm good with that. I like doing that. That that makes me feel like I'm a, Well, that will prove know. to you that there's a drift because you will witness it as you plot I, your course. I recommend that you actually do this because that would be that empirical um, evidence that you need to convince yourself that there is a drift by actually I'm plotting a course and keeping track Q, of it. Q, I'm not challenging if there's a drift. Well, well you know? it seems like you are because yeah, you're telling you me, know? well, I don't need a compass to tell me I could just do this. I could just use okay, a map. What, but if okay, you, you do, do it that way, Travis, what you'll discover is the drift as you go. Yeah, but you can do it just with a sextant and a compass and a paper chart, but we just have to reveal the drift to you. Yeah, and it will reveal okay, the drift to you right. if you did it that way. Okay, great. What does the drift reveal to me, Q? Where uh, that the that you're shifting from your course, you, that you can't just travel in a straight line on a moving sphere. On a uh, motion. I, I I knew that already as a mariner. I'm you know I, I'm I'm a 20 year old seasoned mariner. I know that. I know about drift. So then you know I that the Earth is rotating. Okay. So okay. There we go. Okay. Q. And again, Q. I'm I'm honestly engaging you, and with questions and answers. I'm not trying That's cool. to be. Uh, duplicitous i'm not trying to be sneaky or anything okay okay uh so what do you mean by drift what is drift now i'm back to being a kindergartner i don't know what drift is what is drift well that's what sean's trying to explain to you about this gyroscope okay. the gyroscope is gonna well i'm talking to you now if you were if you were sailing across the ocean you would need to account for this drift or you'd fall off course and the gyroscope just kind of does that for what you is drift? okay I'm that's it that's the yeah, again. go ahead sean I did interrupt you. Oh, no, no worries. No, I just uh, want to talk to Q. I just want to talk to Q. But, well, I'm going to show... 
I can show you exactly what Q and I are both trying to tell you. On the on the screen again, the green little box is the boat, is the ship. The cor the line is my course. I'm driving right now, Sean. I really okay. don't I really don't want to look at my screen right well, now. Okay, well, sorry, I don't so want to. I'm kind of frustrating about you, Travis. I just want to say honestly that you can't dedicate your full attention. It's kind of frustrating when you're asking such complicated questions. <laughs> I I don't think ans I don't think telling me what drift is is very complicated. Okay. Well, it takes. What is it's drift? Drift is the. Well, John feels that he needs a diagram to explain it, so I think it is pretty complicated. Well, it's a, well everyone else can watch because I'll just say, and if he doesn't understand it, then it's it's not my fault. Drift. He can't look at it. Is the currents when the currents take you off your designated path, uh, your designated path. So anytime if you have a designated path and you're just using a compass, you'll have no idea you're two miles off course, one mile off course. But you may be still heading north, like you, we were talking about earlier. You can still be heading north, but be completely off path. The gyro compass gives you plots and points to know you are on track. You are on the right path. That's the difference between okay. the compass and the okay. gyro. That's you. Uh, otherwise, how would you? Otherwise, how would you know if Wait, you're off? Path? How does gyro? How does gyro compass do that? Well, it's able to give you your points. So you'd be How? sailing to your, your designated points by knowing you're going I was going to ask a question before that, Montreal. Can I? Sean, I hate to tell you this, but a gyro compass is just a more accurate compass. Oh, was it that, just was that yes, to know it, it doesn't. It doesn't give you a position. Uh, you still have to plot. It. You can plot. Well, yeah. your uh, I have either. a question now. Well, no, you have to plot it, but it Sean gives you. It will give you no, let you know if you're on the right course, though. I'm not saying that okay, it gives you. I have you a the, question. Yes, but you can still drift with it. I have a question yeah, now. Based you, on I agree. What Sean you can still drift with it. But wouldn't you know your drift was, say, um, by a certain degree, and then be able to get back on course? No. You, no. You, you, you can you can say that you've lost um, direction, that you've lost that you've lost your course, but mm -hmm. you cannot say how much you have drifted. It is just pointing north. Yeah, it's just aligning with I'm the sorry, axis. There's, there's, I, I just want to get a very, very quick point on. It's just a quick, a very quick question. <laughs> it's a very quick question to Travis. And you, you mentioned the fact you could navigate was, with a sextant no, I, no, on a I map. I was asking Q and Sean. I was having a conversation with Travis. Travis, be quiet. Sean and Q. No, Bob. No, sorry. Do you mind, do you mind if I finish, Sean? Well, well I kind of... It, it's a really... It's a really... It's, because no, it's, it's a really John was well, hang on, guys, something guys, that I asked. Obviously, it's the point. guys, Travis and Dress, because I it seems that I have a misunderstanding of how a gyro compass works, John, it, and I'm trying to understand that right now. By uh, Barney and and Bob were both trying to explain to me how I was wrong. And exactly they both know more about that than me, so I'll shut up. I, it's, it's, it has nothing to do with who's talking. They were in the middle of doing so when it happened. So I, I like oh, them. Gyro compasses like really apply to boating, though, you know? Isn't those for Very people? much so. They don't apply to I planes. I just have a Let's simple question way. to Q and Sean. That's it. I just have a question to, Shua, to, to Q and Sean since they both answered my question. Can I ask my question? Go ahead, Travis. Are you telling me that drift is caused by the rotation of the earth no i'm not gonna say entirely well, yeah part is part of i mean the overall current okay the tangentially okay. yes it does okay, so, because okay hold on okay, okay hold on hold it on, depends hold on, on what you're talking about again. what you're talking Why about what is you? drifting okay because if i'm just like standing on the okay, land with you. a telescope looking at stars and the wow. stars are drifting out of the center of my telescope and that's one kind of drift. But if I'm on the ocean in a boat drift, then there might be d double causes for why drift. This is complete obfuscation. It's no, it's not. not. It's just, it, you're asking okay. questions that are very complicated you, no, and looking for very simple answers, and you don't even can't even look at the okay, diagram. Here we go. It's a step by step. It's a step by step. Q. By what kind of drift are you talking about? Okay, Put more I, I, uh, okay. information in your question. Here we go. I believe you said just a few moments ago that that you mean by drift the currents of the ocean. Is that correct? No. You didn't say that? No. Okay. Well, then I'll have to go back and listen to it, but I'm pretty sure that's what you said. I never said anything about the current of the ocean. Okay, then what is drift? What is it? Drifting All right, Sean, here's, here's, the, here's right the explanation that you were looking for. Okay. 
You see these arrows that are, are going from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen? Yep. That's the course of your ship. Notice that it's going from south to north, okay? Mm -hmm. Now you have a current going from west to east. And what's happening is even though you're still going south to north and your compass is reading that you're heading north, you're actually being forced over to the right here by that by current. By the current. Look at the diagram. Okay. okay. And the current is the, is the cause of the drift, yes? It's not the only cause of drift, but it's one of them, yeah. Okay. Don't yeah. We can also have wind and other, other factors, but we're okay. talking currents here. Yeah. 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 So you're moving off fast. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. My question now is, are you telling me the rotation of the Earth is the cause of ocean currents? Well, actually, the rotation of the Earth does play in, does come into play on ocean mm -hmm. currents, yes. Okay, that's what you have uh, to prove. That you're now, now you're with, okay, I've, okay, I've been on, quiet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Along with hold cold on. and warm water, the cold okay, and warm listen, water. Okay, listen, guys, and, listen. And I've been listen. quiet here for a while, so I'd like to say yeah, something also. Okay, I, I, yeah. I will have one one final statement, and then I'm done. Yeah, Travis, can you shut up? Now. You've been yeah, talking yeah, in the background for 10 minutes. But he's actually finally starting to get somewhere, and then everybody wants to talk. I think you should just let him get to his point. Okay, hold on, This might also clarify drift. Thanks. Okay. okay. So what we're talking about, hold on, what we're talking about is Coriolis of the water. Why do you want to conflate things, dude? Yeah, All right, go yeah. ahead. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Okay, so, I, just, I just have one. Lady. She I just, just wanted to one. check out my Guys, channel. Take a word that has nothing to do with something and nice drop one from something. Like that's that. not I, our I, perspective. I just have I'll one her, single I'll, simple I'll point to make. I just have one single simple point I want to bring up. What? Gyro compasses don't rely on magnetic fields. Therefore, it doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be calibrated or altered to, to deal with the changing magnetic declination over distances. That's what helps prevent. That's one of the things that helps prevent it drifting off course. There are a number of factors. That's why we use gyro compasses instead of magnetic compasses. On top of the fact that ships made out of large quantities of steel have a tendency to be you know, messing with magnetic lines. So, so there's there's a couple of reasons there. So that's the kind of the, the difference between what I, I was thinking it was compared to how it works, right? Magnetic declination changes over, over distances. And if you look at a, a map showing magnetic declinations, it can change, you know, 20 degrees from one side of the United States to the other. Changes yearly. Yes, it changes and it also yearly also. Location because you have areas areas of you know the magnetic field is not uniform throughout the Earth. And that if 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 you start out at a heading, say you're you're heading due east, and you you start out with a single magnetic declination, and you're using a magnetic compass, and you're in a wooden boat, and you're traveling due east, you you pass into another area of you know greater declination, greater declination, you're gonna you're gonna bend off course one way or the other. Whereas if you use a gyro compass that does not rely on magnetic declination, you can maintain a due east bearing. That's the that's drifting off course. That's one of the many factors. I think Travis left, didn't he? I just wanted to ask him. Um, no, I'm still here. Oh, okay. Well, I want to ask you a question. How come you don't ask Mark Sargent for these these questions for his? I don't give research? a shit about Mark Sargent. But he, he's, you know, the supposed... He doesn't actually care about questioning... Why are you bringing up, bringing up a red herring? This is, all, this is your hobby horse sh uh, uh, channel, Q. Well, how else shit. would it be for me? You think that's going to insult me? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> trying to... You think to I'm going to be insulted that I don't take this seriously? Yeah. Oh, shame on me. I'm not, I'm not trying to if insult you. you. Um, largely, I, he doesn't I, care I, what flat earthers have to say about their own models. He yeah. only cares about our model. I well, I mean, Mark Sargent or... has a model, okay, and he's supposed yeah, to be yeah, able yeah. to answer all these questions. I came, I came back in for this. Whatever. Well, no, you no, didn't come back in for good, this. I'm just very, teasing you. It's actually a, a good question because <laughs> it is a good question. Lately, is the same thing. Why aren't flat earthers questioning what other flat earthers are saying? Because it, it's not everything each one says could possibly be right to you because they do conflict with each other all the time. Why aren't more flat earthers asking why is this not? Working, okay. why is this in an observation so we're my, making? How do you falsify the flat earth? 
that I don't operate on the same principles that you do, Bob. Thanks. Right, and your principles are have less integrity there. Why don't you treat yourself? Can I ask a question? Your, your, well, Travis, yeah. those principles that you operate on have less integrity than Bob's. Well, hang on. I'd, I'd like just like four. either, you know, Montreal, who doesn't believe that it spins, or, or Travis, who thinks it's flat. Uh, I, I could, that question was actually made just for you guys, really. Why aren't you guys questioning the observations and or uh, – <laughs> presentations that flat other flat earthers are, are presenting why aren't those ever put into scrutiny by yourselves we do sean we're not all one group like the, what you guys think if we hear something stupid like the pressure thing i was the first <laughs> one to say what an idiotic thing that is i mean seriously well that's, that's... I, I just i just like to know from uh from plane if the information I provided and the example I provided might help clarify in his mind what we're talking about when we're talking about drift. I'm hoping it helped. There is no hope. He said he's a 20-year-old mariner. Don't you think he knows what drift is, guys? Come on. I think it was in... I don't think it was no, that was an example he had. He actually doesn't know much about... Yeah, he, he, he did say that. He said he wasn't an expert at it, so... Mm. Oh, yeah, I thought he said he was a mariner. My bad, my bad. No, no, no. Just, yeah, I mean, that was another um, example. I mean, the question I want to ask him, he said, you know, with a sextant and, 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 a, and a map, I, I can navigate. And I was going to say, there's, there's a third thing you really need. He said need. he needed a gyroscope, too. He said, I need a gyroscope, a sextant, Even, and a map. Yeah. That's no, you need, a, you need something else. You need something else, yeah. and it's really fucking a important. Mast. He Google, said a mast. Google Google mast. mast. The tone he also said he was going to use his mast. I say you, I you need a decent. No, you need you need a decent watch. Yeah, we need an Ali B. <laughs> you need a watch that keeps really good yeah, time. Without a well, decent we watch, you know exactly you how long you've been traveling. Watch, we need me. How it's a very it? complicated thing to do. It's very very complicated, and I think Travis takes that for granted. And I think that if Travis wants uh, simpler answers, then he needs to ask more complicated questions. Or we're willing to uh, to take in the answers, and and let them sit before knows and that's not how it works and because oh yeah because here's the thing I, I mean i clearly have been saying for like the past two hours now like exactly what i thought it worked how it worked and i was wrong but here's the thing i i, I want to know how i'm right how it works correctly so i can be right the next time and i think if you're not willing to just realize you're wrong first of all second ask the questions that are important to figure out these things it's kind of pointless to even be in the conversation and that goes for yeah. any, any big respect to what you just said, Sean. I feel well, like what Travis did here is he just spent all this time trying to conflate uh, Coriolis with drift so on the ocean. So, you know, that's what he was doing. He wasn't really trying to uh, learn what it was or where his mistake was. He was just trying to get to a point to where he felt like he could safely conflate those two things. Yeah, I mean, Cori Coriolis... And also, I need to address this guy in the chat. He says there's no leaders of Flat Earth, but in the commercial oh, sorry, where no, no, Mark no, no, Sargent fucking. appears and uh, refers to all Flat Earthers as fools, he is declared the leader. All right? So he's your leader. We all report to him. We all report to him. Hang on. Dress. Go ahead. I you leave everybody off here. <laughs> no, I was trying yeah, to I'll, I'll just, that. You, you have a next yeah. I had a question. Hang on. Thank you. He'll be right next. Um, yeah, I was, I was just going to say, I mean, yeah, I mean, Coriolis is one of the factors, but just one of many factors that affects currents. Um, and it tends to be surface currents, not deep sea currents, because they're not really affected by the Coriolis effect. Um, but the main things that fuel it, as far as I know, and I, and if, I, mean, I as I say, I could be bloody wrong, is sun, weather, wind... These are the things that are, that mostly affect surface current and land shape. You know the the the, the landform, the the sea floor. Um, you know, and so yeah, Coriolis is part of it, but it's not it, like everything else. It's not a huge factor. It's not the one defining thing. And I think there's this problem of trying to conflate a single argument. Say, ah, oh, it's this, and oh, because it's not all this, therefore it's not. Is 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 something I have a problem with. Me too. I'm done. Ali, over to you, mate. All right, thank you. It was just a statement Bob uh, made. Maybe somebody on the panel will be able to answer. He said that the gyroscope in the magnetic compass 
uh, or the non-magnetic compass detected rotation of the Earth. I was just wondering how it how how it did that. Precession. What do you mean precession? It means it keeps a fixed point, and the Earth rotates under it yeah. until it yep. reaches yep. the until it equals the rotation point of the Earth. Once it gets to that, it stops because there's no force trying to move it. So it's it's basically there's an angular the fact, force. Being the fact, to it. force, but the fact that it's rotating is a constant force upon that. Yeah, but once it reaches, no, no, the, no, 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 it's a sorry, constant yes, force. Yes, yes, upon yes. It. It's not like humans. It's not like humans. We don't feel the spin because we were born into it. A gyroscope. No, that's not what he's saying. A gyroscope. Uh, but he's saying that once it gets in line with the rotation, right. there's no, no longer once it's force. equal. He said once they're and equal. Equal. What do you mean an e equal? Not they cancel, equal. The forces cancel each other out. No, 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 no. See, that's because you don't know how a gyroscope works. I, oh, I, I know how then. a gyro compass works. I can draw <laughs> you how it works, Ali. So tell me, what's the mechanism that it uses to understand why? Why is there forces on it when when it's moving? What's the mechanism at the bottom of a gyro compass? There's something down there that you need to identify. In fact, there are four of them. Well, it's like uh, they're called uh, pendulous veins. No, that's the wrong type of gyro. Oh, right, okay, but the, right, okay. So it's weights at the bottom of it to keep its center of gravity. And you're missing the four things there. Four axes, four things four, down at the bottom. Ports. They can have four ports, right? You know, right? But what happens is, right? It holds it at its center of gravity. <laughs> and when it processes, there's motors on it that correct it in the gyro compass. So when it actually processes due to friction or vibration or whatever, it gets put back into the, its original position that it, it, it was when it, it was fired up, the position it was. So, what, so they put it to true north. north. Wait, a minute, wait, a minute, wait a minute, they spin it up to true north. They point it at true north, right? So it recognises that. That's position. a heading indicator in a plane, not a gyro compass. No, no, that's in the gyro compass. No, that's, that's a you, heading indicator in a plane. In the gyro compass you don't, on the you boat. don't use. You don't. They don't use point it, it to on... magnet. Align it. They align it with the. No, 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 no. That's the same on the boat as well. No, they align, everybody they align just the clarified it for me. That's the what you're with the. Uh, it's not aligned uh, with north. So what do they align it to? What it do they align aligns it itself. It's self-aligning. That's the whole no, point. It doesn't align itself. That's rubbish. <laughs> That's How does the gyroscope align itself? So it hey, listen, listen, listen. A gyroscope. When you find a gyroscope, it will maintain that position that you start it up in. So, so you so can Alex, point it to any that, direction. The and thing when that you, I was just describing to you, you was a By the way. I, I just want to get this point out very, very quickly. So the thing I described to you with the four ports at the bottom is not a gyro compass. What I was actually describing there was something that measures whether you're maintaining a horizontal or not. Yeah, an attitude, attitude indicator. Yes, yeah. that's what I was describing. Not a gyro compass. I know you were pendulous veins, uh, but I don't, you, you, you asked me what the four things so I mentioned. Pendulous yeah. veins. You didn't ask me uh, uh, what else was that attached. I know about an attitude indicator. I know how pendulous veins work. I know what ports. I described everything about it. And the only well, thing no, you could get me on, the only, thing, the only thing, exactly, and the only thing you could get me on was the fact that it wasn't a gyro compass you were describing. So therefore, I don't know what a gyro compass is when I describe exactly what you do with a gyro compass. And you don't know, you even admitted, I'll leave it to Bob and Barney to, to help because I don't know anything about it. And now suddenly you're an expert on it. Tell me I'm wrong. No, no, no. I've, I've actually watched a couple of Bob's videos oh. and they were quite important. Right, so you're an expert because you... No, I'm you, not claiming I'm you, an expert, Ali. You don't, walked don't away. Well, you're being completely unreasonable. Okay, up. nobody you, said there is an expert away. or he was an expert. You walked away. And you're not listening Bob. to what he's saying. You're complaining you, you the fact that people can't feel the urge to move with why a gyro like, compass he can't equalize. He admitted to I admit, nothing. Bob, I, I admit nothing about Bob the subject knows a Bob. lot more on this topic. I yeah, and he knows, knows the point we're trying to make. Who knows yeah, more about Eric? He knows, he knows nothing. Bob I'm, I'm, I'm going to mute because otherwise this is going to be a shout. And you have not to all. allow everyone to speak. You can't just take over the floor and just talk. Yeah, but not when you starts attacking me, short. No, but you've been doing it since you started talking. Just you got to let someone else have a happen. Just, oh yeah, right. I'm sorry, not sorry, attacking you, Ali. I just right, don't think it's through. irrelevant to the point that's being made whether or not Dress is an expert. Okay. 
or whatever was said in a previous conversation. It's not relevant to this point that's being made. It's derailing. And I will state for a fact, Barney and Bob know a lot more about this topic than I do. I will admit that freely. It's irrelevant. Yeah. And that's just a stupid point that Ellie's making. Yeah, but it's will, sticking to the point that we're actually that. talking hey. about. What he's trying to do is now make a competition between Bob and everybody about who knows more and who who said something once that wasn't the same as what they're saying now. Who gives a shit, Ellie? We're talking about how the gyro I, I, never, I never said. I never said it was Drush that mentioned the fact. Then. You're just creating drama Drush out of nothing because fact. you don't want to talk about how this compass works. It was him that brought it. Of course, it, I know how a gyro compass. You know nothing about it. All you're here okay, is let's just get an education then, Ellie. Educate course, everyone here on the panel about. A disruption, forward. and you blame me for doing that. What are you doing? But, but Tell just, everybody how the character What are you doing? Let's get back on topic. topic. Thank you. Yeah, let Barney yeah. speak. <laughs> you shut up. Let Barney speak. Think it like me, John. What? What's up? <laughs> the topic you. Well, the thing is, is, here's the thing. I actually need to learn about this, obviously, because I was was incorrect in the explanation I had. So I'm trying to understand and learn this, but trust me, there's no way in hell anyone can learn when it's just like blah, 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 between everyone. So take a time. If you feel you know something about this, let's explain it. If someone is questioning if you know what you're talking about, it's a, a nice easy way to verify that you do is to answer the question if it is reasonable. But the most important thing is, is that Everyone wants to talk, but everyone can't do it at the same time. So, is pineapple on pizza reasonable? God damn it, Crash. I know you've been doing this around everyone's shit. Canadian bacon isn't bacon, and Hawaiian pizza is blasphemy because even Hawaiians don't put it on their pizza. Are you happy? Answer all Them's questions. fighting words. Them's <laughs> fighting words, Sean. I'm Canadian. <laughs> Canadian, guess what? You're not eating real bacon. If it makes no you way, feel any friend. better, we've got the bacon here. Bacon. It's Danish bacon. If if it makes you feel any better, neither of you are eating decent bacon. No, but that's you just not one too. If Canadians <laughs> don't <laughs> have guns, how are people getting <laughs> shot the there? What Canadian? British bacon. Guns. You're right about that, Q. They have rifles. Dude, a lot of people get shot in Canada for a country that outlawed guns. It's because they don't close it, lock their doors either. <laughs> Guns aren't outlawed in Canada. Ooh, ooh. Since you guys aren't well, talking. Not. Are no. Wait, what did you say? No, you're Do you want to okay. talk about the gyro compass? That'd be nice. <laughs> Thank you, Barney. Yeah, I'd like to get back to that topic. <laughs> Wait, who, the only reason I interrupted okay. was that I just want to say to Barney, you know more about this than I do. And if I've ever claimed differently. I, I was just throwing your dick with Sean. Barney's <laughs> cookie plate is full, guys. Relax. All right. I don't I don't know what I know or don't know. I can tell you how I understand it. That might be wrong. You need to research things for yourself. Take the time to to figure it out and get an, gain an understanding. Why? Stop you trying have, to put Barney on a pedestal. First of all, you have gravity as a force in your hand. You have a gyroscope. Now explain. <laughs> so I have a gyroscope in my hand. Now, um, a normal gyroscope will be mounted on a three axis gimbal. Or um, in the example that Ellie was putting up about Skylab, you can just spin it up in, in zero G and, and set it there. As no matter what happens to the environment, it'll keep its orientation, right? If you put a force on it that is on either axis except for the rotational axis, it'll spin at 90 degrees. So if I push it, let's say, if I push it down, it will instead spin around to to yeah. to the left, right? If I pull it up, it'll spin to the right. But if I if I apply torque while it's spinning along its axis, then I'm not really doing anything to it. I, I can twist it this way as, as much as I want, right? So if I do this kind of torque, I can feel it resisting and pushing me to the side. But if I do this, I can do it all day long, right? So what happens with a, with a gyro compass is you take a gyroscope such as this, you put it on its side, and you put a weight on, on, on one end so that it's always, it's, it's, uh, two of its axes are always horizontal. You use gravity to keep it horizontal on two axes. As it turns around the Earth, 
the turning around the earth is trying to impart this kind of motion on it and that uh, it, it's it's trying to put torque in due to gravity right when you go forward gravity changes direction and it's trying to twist it around as it's trying to twist it around that way the 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 torque effect of 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 the gyroscope which is in, in the gyro compass will make it turn to the left right and it will turn it to the left all the way until its axis the axis of the rotation of the gyroscope is aligned with the axis of the rotation of the earth yeah right and then it will then then that gravity effect is turning it around its axis and it doesn't have anywhere to go if you push it the other way then the 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 effect of the weight the gravity that's pulling it will try to lift it up and that will make it go in the opposite direction it will make it turn to the right hey barney right so whichever way whichever way it deviates from pointing north that that torque on the gyroscope will bring it back until its axis of rotation is aligned with the axis of rotation of the earth are you so practicing black always, magic that's black so magic. it will always always Where point to the north there you go. Was that? You're buffering. I don't know. To the true north. I'll try to fix it. Hang on. Yay, Barney. Uh, it should be all right. I thought I was pretty uh, close to that. I have a question, Barney. Um, this is yeah. To it. Would a gyroscope work without gravity? A gyroscope? Yes. Or what you just showed us, the way it works and everything. A gyro compass? Yes, I'm sorry. No. Gyro no. Well, gyro compass um, would not. A gyro compass would not, unless you could devise some other way to keep it horizontal to the to the surface of a turning sphere, right? Like it, it doesn't it doesn't care, it doesn't care about gravity. We use gravity the because that's a very gravity. yeah. It, it's a very reliable way of constantly po pointing down. <laughs> it uses if you know which way it's down. Space. And if you know which way is down, if you keep it oriented so that, that it's that it's then you get two horizontals okay. in relation to that I down at ninety degrees. Question. So they didn't they, they use a gyro compass on the Apollo missions? Am I wrong? Mm -hmm. I am I don't they see use, why I, they would use a gyro compass. They use something I'll, I'll the check on it. I know they use something. They use they used reaction wheels and gyroscopes. Okay, so not a gyro compass. Okay, see, that's my confusion. Okay. And, you said, and you've already stated that you don't need one for a gyroscope. You don't need gravity. So, for a this, this is a gyroscope, right? Yeah. It, this, this is um, a gyroscope without any gimbal. So, what it will do is if I spin it up, I'm not going to yeah, tell yeah. but if I spin it up, whichever orientation I put it in, mm -hmm. it will stay. And if you try to push it away from that orientation, instead of falling down, it will turn to the left. And that's why it processes. That's, that's why you get that shorthand answer, how does a gyro compass work? By precession, right? So if you put it, if you put it in a, in a um, three-axis gimbal, a gimbal, which, uh, a gimbal is a stick whose top can turn on one axis, two axis, or three axis in three-dimensional space. If you put it on a three three axis gimbal, it will just keep its orientation in space completely no matter what it is. Right? Mm -hmm. And that's how you can detect the, the 15 degree turn of the earth. And that's how you can navigate a plane. <laughs> you align it with a compass and it will just stay like that for as long as it's running. Uh, right? <laughs> But a gyro compass, a gyro compass. If you if you restrict two of those um, three gimbal axes and put a torque on them by rotating it around the Earth, it will always turn until until it re until it points in a in a until until this um, axis is a parallel to the axis of the rotation of the Earth. Okay. I see. I the uh, the the Apollo. The Apollo missions used an inertial guidance uh, or navigation system. 
I posted in side chat a little uh, little blurb about that. If you'd like, I could read it real quick for those in the YouTube audience. Yeah, sure. An inertial navigation system is a navigation device that uses computer motion sensors, accelerometers, and rotation sensors, rotation sensors, gyroscopes, to continuously calculate by dead reckoning the position, the orientation, and velocity of a moving object without the need for external references. Okay. And, and that, just so I'm clear, the, the weight that would hang in the, in the gimbal is the reference. Down. Sean, I think I can clarify this for you very easily. That, that would be an external reference, yes. Okay. Sean, no, a gyro compass is a glorified gyroscope with weights attached to it. Nothing more, nothing less. And in the ocean, they make it so it stays uh, centered. That's all it is. But it's what a make, okay, but what gyroscope with weights attached to it. Montreal, That's what would, it. What would keep it centered? That's it. Who? Period. What? <laughs> what keeps it centered? They manipulate it. Uh, no, <laughs> uh, what keeps it centered yeah. is, is a different story. That's a for real thing. It's a what? They, well, in the old days, they used mercury ballasts and a whole bunch of things. Yeah. I posted a, a video on it. It's 21 minutes in the chat, on the side chat. But what, if you find it, you'll it'll, it'll teach you everything you need to know. That, that, oh. that, that, what Montreal, I would just like to ask for a clarification. What do you mean by they manipulate it? They what make kind it of point north. They can make a gyro compass point. I think the proper termino terminology, Montreal, would be calibration. That's what it's called. Calibrated. Mm. Calibrated. Mm. Calibration. No, no, no. Call it, okay. call it so, whatever you want, I, Maxwell. I, I, with what I, I have just. With what I have just described, whichever way you set it down, as long as you have a weight um, which is pointing down perpendicular to the axis of the rotation, it will turn itself north. It will find north. It is not a gyroscope that will just retain its orientation. A gyro compass will seek north and find north and then stay pointing, pointing at north. It is always seek quite their level. Uh, that simple. What? Uh, because of Bob, the science guy, I checked into this, and uh, it's not as simple as you say. Uh, I even checked out the uh, the instruments on the plane, and they all use various forms of gyroscopes, tilted in various directions, to uh, to come up yes. with different. Things. And once again, so it's once all again, a manipulation. A, gyro a, a plane does not use gyro compasses; it uses gyroscopes. I didn't say a it used a gyro compass. A gyro a compass uses a gyroscope as well, though, Barney. Uh, it what? uses gyroscopes as well as gyro compass. Uh, gyro compass is to determine the. Um, the course the plane goes and gyros are to determine its pitch yo and what's left and roll so, thank you very much from 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 what i know gyro compasses are not used on a plane because they have an additional precession if you move them um East in a in an east west direction at a sufficient speed, which messes up their function. So the thing that is used on the on the which planes is, is a heading indicator, which Excuse is not. Me? I, I, uh, I made my statement on my uh, four speakers. So they stated it's really orientated uh, to the. Um, the say magnetism of the globe. Well, the, for a plane, the plane, yes. For the plane, the gyroscopes are calibrated against the magnetic compass. On a boat, and the plane doesn't use gyro compasses; it uses gyroscopes to determine its its it, it, if it's keeping its orientation. Okay, thank you very much. I'm, I've learned something new today. 
We have the heading indicator, the attitude indicator, and the turn coordinator. Those all use gyroscopes. Are you sure you mean attitude? Yes. And yes, none of attitude. them uses a gyro compass. Yes. Correct. And a gyro compass does use a gyroscope, but it is not in itself a gyroscope. Uh, and actually, I've got a question for Crash. Very wait, quick, me right? first. Crash. I might need one of those attitude you. detectors. Actually, could could you give me a link? Excuse me. May I have one question about the gyroscopes and planes and mm. all the other stuff? Um, is it because there is so? Um, accurate gps system on the earth and really planes don't need gyro compasses you always have multiple systems and anything involving people dying <laughs> uh, you are roboting my friend roboting really bad really get bad. the hell out of here with that Again. i just wanted to ask crash a quick question um yeah. so so I'm concerned. I've I've got a a 500 cc engine on my motorbike, and I'm getting like 72 miles to the gallon. Um, yeah. But my other 500 cc engine, I'm not going anywhere. But that's my generator. Why aren't <laughs> I getting the same miles to gallon like my generators? I'm getting out of my car. They have both got engines. His generator's not moving, so you have no way to do your miles per gallon calculation. Oh. It's like almost adding extra bits makes it function quite differently. I see. Yes. Thanks. But, Dress, since you're on here and we both ride, at any speed over about three mile an hour, which way do you have to push your handlebars in order to go around a turn? Let's, oh, let's, me. I, I, I was counter steer, so I turn against the corner, but not with it. Yeah, that's <laughs> usually my answer as well. You, you, push, uh, you push away from the turn. So if I'm going push right away from the turn, yeah. yeah. I am willing to ask uh, which of them two is more efficient? Well, if my if by efficient you mean which one is more useful, it depends on circumstances. If I was going out hiking, I wouldn't want to carry a gyro compass around with me. And if I was in an airplane or on a ship, I certainly wouldn't want a magnetic compass. No, no, no. I don't mean the compasses. I mean the motorbike. The generators more. <laughs> generators <laughs> more. <laughs> oh, the, <laughs> the bikes. Okay. <laughs> I get way more miles to gallon out of the bike than I do out of the generator. So nah, you work I think it you out. Get, I think you get more out of the generator. <laughs> uh, yeah, but how? I was going to say, oh, how, many kilowatt hours, how many kilowatt hours per gallon do you get? I just want to say I, I that I think it's incredibly stupid eight, that the world ride, runs on fossil fuels. Can you ride eight hours on two gallons? Um, well, the thing that and I have power, a problem with... And power a TV, a computer, and or a refrigerator? Well, the thing is, I run it, I run it for two hours, and it doesn't move anywhere. Yeah, but it gets a lot more done. Uh, yeah, but... <laughs> you know, I was going to say, but, but trust, what... what, what Kilowatt hours do you get per gallon? I don't know. I haven't actually got a generator. This was a stupid point oh. to say just because you've got a compass, it doesn't mean that... <laughs> sorry, just because you've got a gyroscope doesn't mean that it's always a, just a gyroscope. So so if, oh, they yeah, can, if they can say water always seeks its own level, we can say gyro compass always seeks its own north. Hmm. I like that. You can say that. You have to. They say it's manipulated to point well, north. Let's, let's clarify <laughs> uh, that water that's not manipulated level, to point it's, north. It's it's held to the globe due to the molecules that make up that body of water, each having their own gravitational pull to the center of the Earth. That's what I meant to say, Sean. <laughs> you're, you're, you're muted, Barney. <laughs> if I may share, and the gyro compass will always align itself with the orientation of the Earth. How is the how is oh, the sorry with the rotation with, 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 with the axis of the rotation of the Earth? Sorry, not. It, no, it will align itself with north, true north. Nope. Anything it doesn't necessarily Everybody mean it's drink. the axis. No, what, what are you, uh, Adam? What are you presenting? Yes, I do. Um, this is a vid 
of um, the sunrise. Uh, taken I'm from... sorry, is his volume low for everybody? I can't yeah. hear uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, a bit low for me too. I was away it's... from my microphone. Uh, okay, this is a vid of uh, sunrise taken from the, uh, how would you call it? Um, a bridge over the road. So let me present this to you. Okay, so the sun is behind the tree on the right hand side. It's um, it's setting, yeah, and. Uh, in the right hand side of the uh, of the vid, you can see the clouds light up. I can't see the video on the show. It's just a black screen. Yeah, mom oh, was black for a minute, but I've got yeah. the video back. Oh, there yeah, it is. It, it was just hidden rendering it up. It's, oh, it's showing to me. Yeah, what's the question here? How does that basically? I can guess how does that happen? I flatter. How does what? How does what happen? That, the, Under the cloud. That cloud Why are the clouds oh up on the bottom, oh Chris? See, this is the problem. This how is the problem. How are the clouds? We we Please. debunked something six no, months ago, no, and we're still Chris, talking about Chris, it. Chris, you did not debunk this. Matter of fact, me and you were the ones who had this oh, conversation. Like, wouldn't the light oh, have to be under the clouds, Chris? Excuse me. Wouldn't that light have to be coming from beneath the clouds? No. No, he's going to tell you. It. He's going to tell you at the albedo rating, which is. I don't see any light on the ground. Which, yeah, which is the amount of light okay. that is reflected from the ground up. And the problem with that is, is that that would be different everywhere. But that happens every night, everywhere. Sun. Yeah, it's why the cloud. It's why the. It's why the underlid of the clouds isn't no, even no. across. It's sporadic. No. No, it not. isn't. It's. Not. Yes, it is. Of no, it isn't. It is. Look. I can show yes, you. Yes, it is. Clouds are sporadic, but the light. Why aren't the, why aren't all of the clouds? Why aren't all the clouds from the front? Because some of the clouds are on top of the part. other clouds. In Just let me so finish my answer. By the, the other clouds. This is why I don't sun. come here. I can't get this. one sentence out without being interrupted by three people. The crust, I'm just the giving you the sun. answer to your questions, dude. I'm not in. I didn't finish my sentence. Why aren't sentence. all the clouds lit up? I said because some of the clouds are on top of the other clouds. Well, no, so no, this is why you. This is why you left Jose's earlier. You can't have a discussion with you in here. The most reason the more more of the clouds aren't lit up is because the sun has yet to set far enough let down our parents to it looks pretty far down oh i can show you one where the, all the all the clouds are would you like to see that the one, more clouds you have the more it's going to stand out there's just a little I bit of clouds can, here. i can show you pictures i took with my uh telephone well adam l you have a creepy ass photo by the way but anyways so I debunked this, I don't know, months no, ago, you, you really and we're still did. talking about it. Chris, you really yes, did. I did. Yes, you did. Try to debunk this. And you debunked yourself no, in did. presentation no, of the of the argument to the first place. Come on. No, I didn't. Chris, Chris do you remember? No. Well, you showed hey, the video sweetie. of the sun under the clouds. You didn't. <laughs> hey, sweetie. No, it's it's a, it was an optical effect. Let me let me show you. <laughs> yeah. The, the sun wasn't right there in the clouds, Barney. You know that. It, it no, looked like it was, it was a few miles away. It was shining through the clouds from beneath. No, but yes, you see how every the, single see cloud the that's within that level is getting oh. the same amount of sunlight on it. It's all even, mm -hmm. but the clouds that aren't on that level, that are above that level, aren't because they're above other clouds that are blocking it. Excuse me. Uh, it could be reflecting off the ether band. Nope. Oh, well, where's your evidence for an ether band, Allie? You got some evidence? Shout, shout out to Allie B. Shout out to Allie B. Travis. All hail the ether band. Travis, yep. I, I, he, I, I, I get it when he shout says. Out the pool, the pool. Shout out um, to the pool. Shout out to the pool. Can I speak? Can I, can I speak? Mm. See what I, I think. I think. Oh, right, I'll hand over the mic again. Yep. Talk no, no, I'm first. just saying it's just I think Adabella has been trying to get a point out. He started a sentence like four times and like everybody's talked over him. I know he's a bit quiet, but yeah, yeah it's funny how you butted in when when I started talking. Uh, no, I, I, I didn't you just wait for you. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah. you're really catching it. Dress obviously doesn't great, like great you. Great timing. Great timing. Two times you caught him not mm. liking you, Ellie. <laughs> Who cares? Right, okay. Adam, Adam, go ahead. Everyone mute yourselves and let Chew out. Of there, you Thank you. Go ahead, Adam. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, 
the ending of the video you have just watched. Um, I have another three pictures. The thing is, the sun is behind the tree in the right hand side. But screen's black all. again. Yeah, your screen black again. Uh, I think you may have to click on it or. Sure. It's not. Um, it's not time. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it's clicked off again. I thought it was me. There you go. Good. No, it's on his side because it, it's been doing it mine too. Um, when I start to share something, it's like starts blinking, and so whenever when I click on whatever I'm sharing, it usually stops. Okay. So um, this is a. a frame the from the vid yeah okay so on the right hand side you have a tree that uh, covers the setting sun yeah it's behind the uh, horizon uh, at the start of this vid yeah i'm showing you how these clouds are lit from the bottom and how this how sun is behind the tree because in this frame you can see the sun is still really burning my camera uh so <laughs> where's this guy from <laughs> he's fun. being a dick no, I'm not Chris, here. you're such a fucking racist, dude. Get out of here. Fuck. Wow. No. Okay. No. Um. There you go. Oh, okay, so what's the question? How can clouds be underlit? Um, it's called albedo. Yeah. And why is the sun around the horizon? It's called perspective and atmospheric refraction. Okay. Wrong. Um, Wrong. Let me go Wrong. ahead and uh, take this right, because... Chris knows better than to do this. I don't know what he's doing right now. It's so pathetic. Anyway, Chris, we went through this. Um, I'm not sure if you remember. I made this one. Just made. I made this for you after this argument we had. So when we started talking <laughs> about this, we started talking about how the sun could possibly light the bottom of the clouds. And you said, I'll be the rating. The problem is, is if that were the case, when we looked at all these different, different observations of what a cloud looks like when the sun is at different levels in the sky from our apparent horizon. And right off the bat, when you said albedo rating, it was like, bam, he said it again. Why is he saying it? Because we learned this already. We've already figured out. Yeah, I, I debunked it already. So no, why are we talking about it? We've already this? figured out that if that were the case, you wouldn't be able uh -huh. to get this. This would be impossible. I'm trying to get to it right now. Right there. there yeah, you. please, please. Get the shadow it. that is upon me oh, here my. would be impossible. If Sean. Was and you know how I know what this? What the hell, ready, my man? You ready for this? This is my favorite part. You yourself debunked this through your own tests. You tried to show me this. Yeah, I did debunk bullshit. this. And then no, it's you not. Got, look, look, then go to my you, best then, one. Look, look, go to my you, best one. Then when you decided to get half-ass honest... You show you showed exactly what that first you, one was on grass, by look, the way. You show exactly what would happen, really. The difference between this one and your wannabe go to the best one, go to the ones with the big look, mountains. See how this one is so prominent from the actual marker you have, your little stick. That's because you did on that's because it wasn't very honest. Remember, we caught that on you and you went, Okay, I'll do it again. Then, when you half assed did it, right, no, it's, and you it's have, nothing. There is no it was predominant completely honest. Shadow. The reason there is no predominant shadow. And what we also figured out is is because the albedo was the reason why this was all bright out here and it wasn't making it any darker. So it would I have I was, have an example with a prominent would, shadow, listen, Sean, and you know let it. Let me finish. It would what would happen is if it was what you're, you're saying. No, I'm not. If it was what you were saying, yeah. this would not be so predominant. The shadow. We've already established that. The shadow would be uh, Sean, blurry. You know I have it. Just the fact that a reflection off of different surfaces well, which would wrong. happen over this whole area. You understand that. If it was what you're saying, that means the stuff off the mount the shine off the mountain would be different light. The light off the fog would be different. The light off the trees would be different, but that's not what we're seeing, Chris. No, it wouldn't. What are you 
You don't know anything. You don't know oh, what you're talking about. Wait, 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 wait. Are you now telling me? Wait, stop. Are you listening to Chris? Are you now telling me that uh, the Beetle rating does not have a difference? Who's the one that? Who's the one that did the test on this, Sean? Was it you or was it me? No, you did, and it was perfect. Yeah, I did, and yeah. I debunked it. No, you did. Why don't you bring up the one with oh. the with the silhouette? Oh, so when Chris out. does experiments, he gets yeah. to decide what the results are mm -hmm. based on what he wants them to be. But when Sean does his experiments, he can do them based on what the truth of the yeah. results are. Oh, junk here, you're not listening. He debunked it already, you know? Oh. Well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull up. So why don't you do show this. my third test, John, that has a prominent oh, shadow? I'm going to show it through my, I'm going to throw it through my channel, though. Okay, Chris? <laughs> yeah, remember you can do whatever you want. Yeah, as long as you remember. Do whatever this, you want. this was the fact that I, I wouldn't even be saying anything if you weren't being such a dick about it. But the problem is, is that. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering why we're talking about things that are six, six months old debunked. Doesn't make a lot sense. We don't. Ex I don't think Sean accepts their debunk, so you can't say. Well, that's not like my you're problem. not going to talk about free. things that are older than six months old and debunk. Uh, no. Why the hell are we talking about flat Earth? I'm saying <laughs> not the picture. If, yeah, it's like Al hold on. Can I just get a statement out? Listen, and Barney knows this because he's been on the Jose panels recently. It's like Al K who still to this day claims you oh, can't drama. have atmospheric refraction. Chris Berry wants to go for some drama now because he can't answer these albedo yeah. questions. Yeah. Chris, you know he yeah. wants to talk shit about somebody uh, who's not here. Channel, I fear you're, you're getting support drama. from me, from me on this one. about drama, Chris. Who else don't you like? Drama. Who That's else did not like Chris? Who didn't Why like you? Why don't you bring up drama, Channel Q? Come on, Sean, Sean. you're ruining, ruining your hangout. I just want you to know that. It was I'm fine. Not, until at this point here. right now, I'm just trying to find something so I can show you that you were wrong. Hold on. So, uh, we have can, I, can I ask a clarification no, question from no, Chris? No, no, because I'm going to get my I don't think I'm ruining anything. anything. I think I'm making you guys all live yeah, up to what ruined. you're saying. Okay, so hang on. Uh, I'm I'm sure. I'm I'm sure. Sure. You're interrupting me. Hold on. Let me... Chris, you No, hold on. Hold on, Airbus. Hold on. Remember this, right, Chris? Jesus. Yeah, that's a real picture right there. Yeah, 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 yeah buddy. <laughs> Congratulations. This is actually not on own. whatever planet that is looking at some other planet. That's real. Oh, no, no. This was but when I uh, was NASA. debunking you. No, that's you don't intro. debunk anything, Sean. You just you, you just you say a bunch of words. Do you want to watch? We can watch it again. No, I don't really. Why don't you bring up the picture? No, no, Does this have the third test? Sean, dude, you're like one of the most dishonest people on this They said, oh, how are the clouds lit? And you just said three words. Sean, and just needs to be you and me and no one else. Where's my third <laughs> test? Oh, this video doesn't include my, my third gonna help test. Go pull up your third test, Chris. All right, let me pull it up and <clears throat> and uh, I'll I'll screen share. That would be the honest thing. Thank you. Why very didn't much. you get Mark Sargent to help you with this stuff, Chris? All right. I I was just I really say, would I mean, like to ask a clarification. If, just very quickly, I was just going to say, if Sean and, and, and Chris want to count to count together, that that's their business. We're happy with that. I'm just glad they're happy with each other. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'll screen share. I don't think Sean's having You're a dick face. I'll I mean, I have, I have I know, video. You know, <laughs> and I just wanted to say, I did I did acknowledge the fact that you were being sarcastic when you were uh, you said you didn't know anything about driver compasses earlier. That's why I skipped you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know much. I really don't. I don't know as much as Bob and Barney. I really don't. So, yeah. I, I would happily listen to them describe it rather than me. Me too. Um, <laughs> I, I'm, 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 uh, Chris. <laughs> hey, Chris. One that image. That me. This one image from my video debunks. You can't have shadows underneath clouds. It's just not true. With the light source above the cloud. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Chris? Yeah, I, I, what, Chris, may I? Source? See, if Adam L. had done any tests, he would have realized this and he wouldn't uh, be talking where, about where's it. Where's your light source, Chris? It's, it's above. Chris, Chris. It's above Chris, the lid. Chris, Chris. <laughs> Listen. Uh, hello. This is me. Your second I, I've... talking. Wait, I've got a, I've got a question. If if you could pull that that shot up again, I'm yeah. showing the, the two side by side. Uh, I'm trying to. What I he's want to show he's so using cool. concrete. Yeah, I know. That's what he did in his other ones. Too. <laughs> I, 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 I just. I, I've got a question for Chris. If you could pull that up again, showing those two side by side. Oh, I'll show you where the light is. Someone ask Wait, the light is. Chris, Chris, why didn't you do this in the grass? I did on dirt. Place, but 
But the first I one did. was his first one that he did was was very. Uh, Here's the light very, source. No wait, not three, honest. Three to four Here, feet above the lid. I, there's some yeah, problems, yeah. Chris, with a lot of these observations that you keep trying no, to make. There's, there's no problem. Yeah, Would you? Yes, it is. Source. We never see your source. Hold on. My what? Source, I just showed you my source. No, on no. I have, I have a reason why I'm saying this. Here's my source right there. Look how, Chris, high, look how much higher above. I, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to address this. Was your source to scale? Source of what? W was your light source? To scale. That's weak. Oh, that's that is weak. So weak. No, nope. we, no, it's not. No, it's not. Listen, you want to? No, no, no. no. Come on, we told Taylor. Uh -uh. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Come on. When Chris did his test. <laughs> the one time that he was honest, which is one, I think it was the third one. I don't remember. But he refused to tell us where the have a any. Verification no, of where the didn't. source was. Bullshit, Chris. The first two, you wouldn't show where the source was, and that was the problem that everyone had. All right. And let also me... that and also the mountains don't hang off the clouds, remember? But Sean, he already debunked this. Oh, well, That's he's it. not he didn't do a very good job. I, I'm <laughs> gonna reiterate my point. <laughs> because that's one of the things that I've noticed when it comes to oh. flat earthers is you don't do anything to scale. What do you even do, period, sir? Oh, I, would, I, can, I can tell you right now. What have you uh, ever done? <laughs> hold yeah, on. Trust, he asked the question. I, I I've got to got to show it. I've got to show it. I okay. Do it to scale me. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hang on. Yeah, I got to hold on. I, I just like to say right now. <laughs> That I do not. Know. Gonna I, I, gonna I, I, he's gonna. Hang he's on. gonna open it. He Erebus, opened his mouth stop. up. I know. Erebus, stop. I do not condone anything Erebus has done or is contriving with his model. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to say that. Anyway, hold on. Let me. There we go. I have nothing to do with this. Okay. So I've already started the process of doing a scale model. Of the flat Earth, I've got two of them. I got an itty bitty one right here, and I've got one that's a little bit bigger. It's a little easier to work with. Yeah. Now, I want you. I want to tell you right now that on my scale model, as you can see, it's each. Uh, it's about each inch is about a thousand miles. Why don't you present? Give or take. If you you just click on my icon. No, you yeah, but the on. people watching the show won't be able to see you. No, they can see it because I'm. No, I don't know. I, I, I've. I'm putting yeah, yeah. him up so they can see because I'm showing it. So they're good right now. All right. Well, I'm watching the show and I don't see it. You shouldn't have now, a seconds. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Now, on this right here from this top top down view, right? The sun and the moon are depicted on here. As per assertions made by flat earthers. Can you tell where they are? Any of the flat earthers on panel, can you at least give me some indication? Where you think the sun and moon are on this? Nah, you're in, first of all, this video is, is really grainy. It's really hard to see any detail oh. at all. Oh, Chris, you are the. Ooh. I mean, That's am I wrong? All right, I'm check it out. I want to know. I want to know. Hang on. scale. You said it was to scale. Did you mention it? Guys, you said it was to scale. Hello. Hey. There, there it is right there. That's the sun. Hey guys, how do you know how big this is? Hey, now, hey, I am uh, it's like a... me right now. This is odd. <laughs> Let me do it this way. Hang on. All right, now everyone in the chat can hear me at least. So, Phew. okay. So, um, first of all, B ball, I'm gonna show it. You don't need to do that. I saw it. I already have it ready to go. But thank you for the super chat anyway. Um, it's because I want to stay on on this whole. I debunked you guys that Chris is going on. Um, I actually came across, or better yet, B-Ball made an upload that answered to it. And, and I, I thought, it, I think it's a good watch. Well, he's not a trustworthy person, so I don't really care what he Oh, he's actually say. very trustworthy. Extremely yeah. trustworthy. As a matter of fact, I probably trust him more than I trust the most of the people in my fucking panel right now, Chris. I would watch, I he was say, I I would watch what you would say about him. That's too bad. Sean. I hope he wasn't. Yeah. Uh, I hope he wasn't, well, Sean. That's, that's too bad uh, I hope he wasn't, guys. Really. That's, that's too bad for you, Ollie B. It's just I, a rumor. I couldn't imagine, yeah, I couldn't imagine what, what, what rumor tree you guys are hanging up these days. 
No, I don't listen to the rumours, but I'm just saying it's going about. So you know, just to let him know, heads up. You know, he's 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 been marked or something like that. I think I heard. That means he's doing something what right. What the hell does that mean? I mean, he's, that means he's getting under their skin and he's doing something I'm right. I'm taking the piss. I'm only having a laugh. Ellie, you need to tra train your 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 your, uh, your 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 weed to a different uh, strength for <laughs> a while. Just I'm mixing a bit of blueberry with a bit of hash. Maybe I should stop mixing it. You've been too much on maybe the I should stop mixing, yeah. It's on sativa, dude. You've been too much on the indica, dude. Get off the couch. <laughs> hey, I'm Sorry, off the couch. Do you remember? I'm up Chris, at four. Do you do you remember this, <laughs> these pictures that you saw? The ones where uh, B ball actually. This is actually the ones that debunked what you were saying. Because if you were right, the be the the shine, the reflection off the, off the shirt would actually be making the shadow. That's how we know your, your source wasn't very very right right either. But then. When My source. You, your light source. So when he actually changed it and made it, you know, how our sun actually is, this is what uh -huh. happens. Just watch. How is our sun actually? Watch, you'll see. Because it, it, it sets. And that's how you actually get a good predominant shadow that's not fading out because of Mine's not the fading out either. reflection of something. Yeah, your is shadow's can, not. Can anybody um, see my screen? Not the shadow. Your like, no, there's I'm, different I'm, I'm kinds of shadow. Well, yeah, yeah, Chris, your shadow, yeah. your shadow, is so low quality, class man. Come on. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. For well, first of all, the, for how the man, hold on. For hold sure, on. the how the shadow is is uh, presented to under the clouds. Yes, it is is extremely wrong. I can show you. I I'm right here. He proved the point, guys. No, he he proved the thing. That yeah. was, as soon as I seen that photograph, that was the first thing I thought of. That's reflection. What? And then and then Chris came out and proved it. No, Bro, wait, 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 wait. No. That's it's grass. Look, it's not yeah, the, like, no, it's not the same light that he was using. The sun the sun's a lot brighter. Maybe if Chris had used a stronger light, he would have got a better shadow. And it wouldn't have mattered. See if he did got the perfect thing, you still would have found fault with yeah, it. Exactly. That and if he'd have there. set it on fire, he'd have got a better shadow. No. Yeah, of course. Yeah, he would. and if he did it to scale, yeah. to the appropriate distance, yeah. to the, everything he didn't do. If he had asked Mark Sargent, he would have got answers he liked. It would have cost a fortune to produce the lumens that the sun gives off, man. <laughs> <laughs> he need oh, to go okay. to an Eastern European country and sort of hack into an old deserted village electricity supply or something. That's stupid. You're demanding, you're demanding the impossible. No. You know what I mean? And oh, well, I mean, well, I mean Ali, are, are you saying... Evidence. Are you saying that a small and local sun is not exactly uh, correct? I know, but it depends what you mean by local. It's a lot. It's not ninety-three million miles away. That's for sure. Well, you, no, you can't yeah. make that assertion. And I'm working. You can't yes, say what it's I'm not. Working on that. I'm working on that due to the ridicule that I received because of that observation that I made that video. I'm, I'm working on the mathematics. I'm, I'm working on a three-dimensional model. For to prove then. Hey, what do you know? I'm making a three dimensional model when of the that flat sun earth. Rose, that, when that sun rose, right, I, I'm working out because I, I've already got the it's angles to 12 it's degrees and 38 degrees. I can make a You're triangle. You're talking about your moon thing again? Yep. And if I can. If we I, already showed you why you were wrong. No, you never showed me actually. You, yes, you they did. Did yes, they did. Yes, they did. show me. But he already debunked that. What you did show me. Is it's a lot more complicated. You guys haven't got a clue what's going on there. It, it, if angle, we didn't have a clue, we wouldn't have been able to replicate what it is you you, you, you never replicated. You wouldn't, Nobody the did observation, it. your observation was replicated. Look, I'm sorry, look, but you can't. You, you can it. deny it. It was it was almost to the exact T. You were there on the hangout. No, it wasn't replicated in real time with you there. It was Excuse a model. Me, oh, oh, you said. Oh, well, here it is. Dude. Hey, that hey, was Dean, but hey, Ali, when Ali, I asked him, Ali, when I, Ali, wait a minute, Sean, wait a minute, let me address no, this, please, does Sean. This, does this depict right, okay, don't let me address it. Then. Does, mean, does, this, it. does this depict the Mount Rainier? Sean, Sean uh, Chris is right. Chris is right, actually. No. You don't get a chance to speak. I know, I guess. But anyway. But I, have, I have a question that I would like answered. Good night, this guys. Depict, I know, I know. Does this depict, depict Mount Rainier? Yes or no? 
Sean, why don't you use my other picture that I have already show shown them all. I'm going to show them all. Well, there is a shadow, so yeah, I yeah, proved the case like in this here. picture. Can so what? I proved it. There's a lot of well, shadows. Do you know why? Hey, do, you know why? do you know why I have a more prominent shadow in the third one? You don't, because you, did, you didn't do the test, and I know why. No, I know, you know why. How I do. And, and look, why. look, when you do it the way you do it, it's not uh -huh. honest. And that's why you had to do it three times. Twice. Not honest. No, it is on. No, I did it a few times. Third test. Oh, your third you test. Your I didn't third do it test. Well, even though I was the only one who did it. You know, Tony. Yeah. The, you, the baller you, noticed Tody. Do. We had Tody one test, face. and we showed you every time you were wrong, and you would admit right. it. Oh, Tody. Love to hear Tody say that. I'd love to hear Tody say you were right on that third one. I'd love to hear Tody replicated it, Sean. Tody replicated it. Let's see it. Where do I get it? Where do I get it? Go ask him. Just go ask him. Just ask him next time you see him. He replicated it. Ali, uh, were you in there? Yeah, I was. I heard it. I don't even know. I, I, heard I remember, it. Sean. I remember, I remember when he, said, he specifically said to Chris that he... he didn't Albedo creates specific shadows. Uh, Al Albedo created the shadow that I got under the... Under the oh, yes. The 100%. That I used. Yep. And it's no, very good. Albedo it's very good. creates specific shadows. If what the sun is... No. Let me finish. If the sun is moving away, like you think... Like you believe, or well, not actually. Let me finish. Let me finish. Now, I didn't say globe model, motherfucker. Play attention, please. Stop it. I'm talking about your model, and don't say we don't got a model. Yes, you do. So please stop. Now, if it moves away, what well, we done? And yeah, let me finish. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, if it moves away, you're claiming the Earth is flat. If it moves away, yeah. right? It, no, it isn't. If it moves away, it will create a specific kind of angle. If it is going below the cloud level in, in, in these photos, it is again at a very specific angle. Thank you. They will create very specific shadows. If What's the specific shadow mean? Okay, like, so for instance, if it's going to move away, the light shadow will be long and thin, and if it's going to move below, it'll be like at a higher point, higher can you, angle. Can you and give me an example of what a specific shadow would, should look like? Or does look like? I just gave you both examples. Uh, it goes into, uh, it's similar in, in fashion to the, uh, ah, God bless it, I can't remember. For Albedo, it would be closer to the uh, angle of incidence. And see for, Albedo, for Albedo, it, requ it requires an angle of incidence. Yeah, there's always right? an angle of incidence. No, not in that manner. Re yeah, angle of incidence, manner. Angle of, re of incidence refers to light traveling at, it, at an angle. Meaning that once it strikes an object, refle a reflective object, it goes off in a, uh, an equal um, angle, right? The e equal and angle it hits it, it comes off the same. It's the same angle. Yeah. Right. So it would, right. Create, it would create a shadow in line with that reflected angle. Okay? Uh, hold on. Can I just because stop you? I just have a question. I have a question. What, what about my test? My... Real world, three times replicated test with a crisp on the third one at least a very crisp clear shadow underneath the object, the light source above. What about that? Is okay. You were trying. I, I'll, 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 let me it. let me do it. Let me let me. You were trying to replicate a final product. You were not actually testing what it was. The light source was below the clouds in order to create that shadow no wrong you say this but did I you like test it above the clouds i didn't say you you you're not listening I tested. If, you, if you have you ever seen a setting sun when the cloudy day this guy all yeah. he did was is he went in his garage and okay he so if so the light above it once so, he did that he so was it, done yeah. So on, and you watch, you watch how that works. You see the light shines on the clouds, right? As it, as the sun sets, or even if the sun rises, the opposite, right? You can't claim that that's albedo because you don't have the appropriate angle to create that effect with the albedo. The albedo you, requires that the sun be above the uh, the clouds at a distance. D in line with those shadows. So what you tried to replicate was that effect, 
And that is not how it was. That doesn't match reality. That's not even what I did. Um, so if you want to explain yes, why I, did I, I, I can did. tell exactly what you did by the you way you did it. Why I did what I did. Go ahead. I did what I did because there was a very specific claim that that uh, image is impossible on a flat earth. That it is. is what I it, it is sucks. physically impossible on a flat earth. <laughs> oh, man. It is physically impossible because the to, to try to do that. It, really? Again, yeah. did you did you do it to scale and to the appropriate measurements? Sure. You keep saying scale. this. I did, but you didn't. How did. far away was the sun? How far away was the sun? No. Uh, for your albedo experiment, how far away was the quote-unquote sun compared to the mount your mountain? Distance doesn't matter. It's the angle. Yes, it does. Okay, no, yes, no. It, distance we're, determines we're, the angle. Uh, you angle can't claim we're, otherwise. Distance from the surface. Lupido. You're wrong. You're wrong. If, Bullshit. If I've got, right. If I've got a right. Okay. So if I've got a, an object, a light source uh -huh. that's a hundred feet off the ground at. I didn't say. I didn't say off the ground. Pay attention. I didn't say off the ground. Listen, 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 listen. You're, no, if you're going to do the parameters, pay attention to what I said. Not the distance above, the distance from. doesn't make a difference. Yes, it does. Are you serious? Are you saying that the distance, It'll you're saying the distance from the object doesn't idea. determine the angle in which it occurs? Are you saying the, the ang angle of incidence has nothing to do with it, how far away it is, the light source is from the yeah, object? Yep, yes, would exactly you like me to prove yeah. you wrong? Yeah. Yes, go for it. Oh, go for it. God, yeah, you go away and you prove them wrong and you come back. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah because away, you're along. totally wrong. It's the angle that determines the uh, reflection, not the How do you get the angle? Thing. How do you get the angle? How do you get the angle? Come on, motherfucker, say it. How do you get the angle? Say it. Say it, Allie. Come on, Allie. Give it say to him, Allie. I Give can't, I him. can't. He's, he's, he's got me. He's got me. I don't know. You I tell know, me. I know, Ali. You might tell have me how run you away. Yeah, I duly apologize for the outburst, but once well, again, how do you determine the angle? It's fine with me, Erebus. I appreciate By it. By getting a protractor, standing at a point, and pointing at the direction of the object, not the distance, my friend. There are three legs to a triangle. It's not a triangle you're making. Yes, you're it is. an angle. No, you're not. It's, it's a still triangle. a triangle. You can't make an angle without having a triangle. You can make an angle with a circle, Alex. Come on. Let's go to basics, right? Tri means three. Yes. Triangle yes. means three <laughs> angles. What a mystery. An angle <laughs> is singular. You are making one This angle is angle. small. Those degrees. are far <laughs> away. Does not matter distance. It is the angle of incidence we're talking about. How is the angle achieved without distance? Okay, but what if I'm standing right on top of something, Allie? What's the angle then? What if I stand right on top of your face? That would be ninety degrees. your eyes What's the angle incidence? Wait, 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 one second. I think, I think everybody is talking at cross purposes. What did you say? One second. I think everybody's talking cross purposes. I think. I think what you are actually talking about, Ali, is <laughs> the angle of elevation, yeah. and I, what they're talking well, about is the angle, angle of incidence. I'm talking about the angle of incidence. He's mentioning distance, not me, my friend. So that is you how you get it. Uh, uh, triangle. I, I, I tried, guys. Don't say a prayer for Ali. That's all very trying. Let's have a moment of silence, moment of silence and, very hard. and have a prayer for Ali. Let me ask, Ali. Question. Let me ask uh, Erebus a, t a question about it. If I have a flashlight pointed up 45 degrees and I go back 50, 50 feet, what's the angle of the light at now? I went back. You're <laughs> asking if you have it at 45 degrees at a start point? Yeah. And then move back? That's not 45 degrees anymore. It's not at 45 that's, degrees anymore. That's no longer. That's no. Lo if you're trying to maintain, you're trying to maintain at the same spot. No. No. See, that's your problem. Uh, no, that's no, your problem. Distance determines the angle of light. No. Yes, no, to the said, object. Distance determines the angle no, of incidence. I just right. moved back 50 feet, and the angle was still 45. But what if I have no. a chip bag and it's closed? No, no stop, Chris. Chris, it's stop, angle, Chris. Like. Chris, Chris, in order to illuminate the same object... What? 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 <laughs> to illuminate the same object, do you have to change your angle as you move back? Not if the... Not if no, the yes or no, dude. Not, not if you have a sun. Enough. You can't do yes or no, dude. That's you can't do it. <laughs> no, the answer is no. The answer is no. If you, if you maintain that 45-degree angle and you move back, you're no longer illuminating the object. 
You are if you are the sun. Yeah, if you are if you are using the sun, you can. not according to flat earthers. No, that's not true. Yeah, want to bet? That, we yeah, just debunked another another that. one of your claims. We're having you debunk straw man arguments. Nope, that even makes sense. I can I can do it again if you want. Find I can keep who going. Says what you claim? Find someone what who says what you claim. Wait, what causes the angle? Okay, then I'm gonna ask you really. I'm gonna ask you a really simple question. How is there night and day? Oh God. What causes? Nope, really? Uh, no. Nope. I'm asking a question. It, you want to sit there and make a claim? Here's my, my rebuttal. How is there night and day? Anyways, I need like clouds under the. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's not good enough. Try it again. No, it's Tony UK, a baller, has admitted it. He did it himself. Oh, so what you're saying is that the sun is a flashlight. So. It's a light source. It's a light source. <laughs> and in what directions do li does light travel? Every direction. I said this the other day. Weren't you paying attention? Of course. Okay. Not. Good. I mean, I mean, like now, how is there night and day? Pump. Near. Far. Do your own research if you want that answer. Near. Half of the far. Earth. Do your own. Pay day. attention. Oh, you're, you're claiming that that's how that works, right? No, no. Near. Wait. You're claiming that. Uh, there's supposed to be yeah. distance. How do you know it's half the Earth? Uh, that's dem demonstrable. You you can't sit there and say it's not half the Earth. You're gonna you, you'd have to prove it, man. I'm no, sorry. No, I but... said, no. I asked you. I never said it wasn't. I said, how do you know? How do you know it's half it's the Earth? Just you're not listening, Nelly. Just you're not listening. Are, are you are you are you gonna say that that you can determine this uh, by having conversation? Oh wait, D, D Marble. Sorry, D Marble actually did something similar to that, in which he had people on different sides of the planet in, da in daylight <coughs> that if you plotted it was half so it's don't sit there and go well how do you know you how did they determine you're just sitting there being pedantic no i'm not how do i, I don't believe that the yeah distance of the sea you don't believe it doesn't you don't believe, don't believe that, that i don't believe no i don't believe that the measurements are given between the continents or whatever is real i don't believe that they're hiding. Hi. They're okay, shit. they're hiding. Oh yeah, they're hiding shit. Oh yeah, you have, yeah. you have yeah. so much proof of this. You have so much proof of this. You have no proof of this. Yep, absolutely. I've got. You have I've, no evidence of this. None. Of evidence. Uh, Zero. Zero. Yeah. Now, and even if, and I'll put it this way, and even if there's there's somehow some land beyond the dome or what have you, the boundaries of the ice wall, it doesn't negate that what we observe is half of the planet is illuminated and the you other half isn't. That. You've never so done you that can, in your life. You, you, can, you can make so this claim verify, all you want. You can't verify that it's half. <laughs> yeah, exactly. By the way, hold on, by the way, I mean, Arabus, I don't know. Then what is it? I don't know how no, no, you're saying what it isn't. What is it? Stop, stop. We don't First have all, to answer that question. Plan, plan, yeah, Travis, of course you don't. Hang on. Travis don't? and Chris. Travis and Chris, we can verify the Terminator line by just picking up a phone. No, you can't. So no, anyway, you can't. That, that's like, that's like saying that you can... I like how it's amazing how humans can't do anything. So this so tell me something, Travis. Arabus, no, Travis and Chris. Arabus, no, Arabus, Travis and Chris. Arabus, no, Travis and Chris. Wait, I, I keep fucking hearing this. I really want to interject. What I'm going to say is going to be so helpful, I swear. It's going to be so helpful. They're Demo, saying by the way, you cannot show the Terminator oh, line by me. calling Sean somebody G, on the come phone. On, come on, Please let me talk, Travis. You'll appreciate what I'm going to say, I promise. They're saying you can't determine a Terminator line by calling people on the phone. Because on a flat earth, the continents are not in the place where you think they are. So nobody knows where they really are when they're on the phone. So there, you can't by calling nope, people on the phone. No, not what I was going to say. No. Nope. But it's still helpful, so shut up. No, it was, so, it was actually so you're saying I have to agree that what for me that will do me. No, uh, really it's always that way, isn't it? Look, on a flat Earth, there's one thing yeah, you guys course. keep. Not Jay, that, I'm stop, doing Ali, Ali, stop. There's one thing on flat Earth that you guys keep ignoring completely. If you're facing south, the sunrise will always become from around your over your shoulder, and a sunrise will always go up and around over your right shoulder. Not to mention when you look out into the out east. You would see a dot that, over the time, would become bigger and bigger and bigger, and every wait, 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 brighter wait, 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 wait. Sean, and brighter. Hold on. Sean. No, I'm not finished. And brighter and brighter. And then when it's sunset, because of what you you guys say how it would work, you would see a 
big sun turn into a small dot and disappear in the distance. Now, the reason is that it doesn't work at all is because we have a sunset and a sunrise that comes from the horizon or appears to come from the horizon and set at the horizon. That alone, Clarification. That alone says flat earth idea of how it would work does not. Okay, clarification. Clarification. All the way back at the beginning when you started your monologue, you said if you're facing yeah, south... You said facing south and the sun rises. You said it'll come over what shoulder? Your left shoulder. Okay. I thought you said right. Okay. No. Sun said it would go over your right. And that's just the way it is. Yeah, and what about that? that. It what about Did you see left or right shoulder? That's called the sun. That's called the sun illusion, Ali Sean. You should Ali look B. into no. it. That's no, called the sun should, illusion. No, no, you should look into the it. Sun it illusion. doesn't work. Sorry. No, no, it's a sun illusion, my friend. Okay. It's a new, it's, it's, not a, real. it's a new, new concept. Uh, 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 well, it's not because it's an illusion. That's what I'm saying. So it's not real what you're seeing. Actually, it's an illusion. Okay. Ali B, you should so believe. Smart. Don't believe your eyes. You're so smart and how it works. Your eyes, mate. If you're so smart and how it works, explain a lunar eclipse to me. Well, the same way the the moon goes in front of the sun. Oh, the moon goes in front of the sun. Wait, 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 wait. The oh, moon? sorry. Is it the other way around? So, ah, right. Okay, the sun will go in front of the moon then. No, we're in between right. the sun. And Either the way, for one, for two. It's ah, but impossible. you're you're assuming you're assuming it's the Earth shadow, oh, right? You're assuming I, it's the Earth I shadow. I do that on purpose too, because I wanted you to do the whole invisible thing. How's this something invisible? Well, it's not invisible. It's not invisible. Some some scientists there is there is papers writ written on a, a thing. It's called the black sun, right? And they do kind of well. Okay, fair enough. It's up to you. No, no, it's called the Black Sun, and it was actually, it's it's that ancient, or it's uh, been that known about mm -hmm. in the ancients. Yeah. It was that, called Lilith. Uh, it was called so, Lilith. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. Yeah. That's you not know real. I mean three. See again? <laughs> I didn't hear what you said there. It just sounded like drivel. So, eloquent. Uh, Those who needed to hear it heard it. Oh, okay then, right. So, obviously, I didn't need to hear it because it was irrelevant to me. Good. Ali, it's, uh, it's John. Can I ask you a oh, question? Oh, really? How are you doing, John? Are you going to be your usual I'm condescending a, self? Are you going to be quite a pleasant person to talk to tonight? What, I'm, what I'm top of the pops. I'm top of the pops, Ali. Hi, um, hi, John. It's Travis. I'm here, too. Hiya. Um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> nice one, Travis. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You've got this. You've got, uh, never mind. Uh, he'll probably say it himself again tonight. Yeah, carry on, John. What's, what's my problem? What don't I understand or what do I act like? Or, or go for well, it. I, I was wondering if I could ask you a question. Yeah. All right, go on then. Um, during the lunar eclipse, if you're looking at the moon that's getting eclipsed, where's the sun in, re in relation to you when you're looking at the moon? If, oh, um, right, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If, right, okay, so I've, right, give me the picture. Is it nighttime or daytime? Because eclipses are, have happened when the sun and the moon have been up at the same time. It's been recorded throughout history. So is it is it during the daytime or the nighttime you want to know? Because if it's the daytime or the nighttime, do you know, I have to be honest, I can't really explain. That's the only explanation I've got. Something moves in front of uh, something else that we don't normally see. So... I'm um, on Google Scholar, well, Ali, fact, and I'm looking for documents on the Black Sun. The eclipses. Oh, oh, but there has sorry, been eclipses sorry, during the day. There has been eclipses when during the day. The the black black sun, sun. Sun. When you're looking at a lunar eclipse, Ali, right. you're in there looking at the moon. The sun is directly behind you. That's where the sun is. Right. If you you know if you've got. If you if you got some kind of understanding of what lunar eclipse oh, right, is, right, right, so something is that, moves right. in front of the moon. That's it. Yeah. So that's something moves in front of the moon. And you think it's this uh, unknown uh, thing called Lilith? He doesn't. Possibly. I would not. I, I said possibly. I says well. I, I mean, it, has been, moon. it has been. It has been uh, uh, written. Oh, but it could be transparent or anything. There's lots of yeah. It's like a filter. Uh, it's like a filter. Right, yeah, exactly. Of, hang on. Filter, exactly. but it's transparent it's, filter. Yeah, 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 man. It could hang be on. a gaseous cloud. It could be a gaseous cloud that floats around that we don't see until wow. such times wow. as it's reflected or refracted against the the, uh, the moon or whatever. It could be the shadow of the Earth. 
Look, the mood the moon changes colour all the time, and I've seen it. I, I was looking at half a, a red Ellie. moon the other night. Maybe Bigfoot. Can, can you say? Can you not say the word could? What did I say? <laughs> it could be this. It could be that. Could, what is it? Good. Good. Well, that's why the should you don't say that? You say it is gravity, it Maybe is refraction, it is curvature. So why the fuck should that? Why because should all you're it? doing is speculating. Standards. You're adding. You're trying to come up with something that isn't there. Sorry, but you got to come up with some yeah, other than you. That's your opinion. I've got science, scientists of You guys so don't realize that that's how your big head that is. And I'm allowed to cherry pick. Good. I'm allowed to cherry pick with, uh, what scientists say down. because we all know they mix truth with lies because they have to. Oh, really? Yeah. Can you prove that? Absolutely. Oh, they're making. But is that what you're doing? Well, you're I can't actually write. I can't actually write. It's always lies, isn't it? I can. Excuse me, I can't. And I could even, I could even show you to a video. So how do you know that? So how do you know that Lilith isn't a lie? Excuse me, excuse me. But well, that's what I'm saying. They mix truth with lies to confuse people. How do you know which is which? That's that's why that's why nobody can give definite answers. One minute Coriolis so, is a force, next minute it's a it's so like an observation, so, and then we've got gravity is a force and it's not a force, and then it's bending a sparse time. I wonder, Ellie, if that's your so problem. your fairy tale well, well, really. really. That's what I'm saying. So in amongst all that shit, uh, repeat off of these fucking high priests or whatever. There's a little bit of truth in there, and we are trying us flat earthers or truth seekers or whatever are trying to filter out the shite. Because there's a lot of shite there, and you know we end up. Your filter transparent. Like, you're just filter. looking for confirmation bias. That's what you're looking no, for. No, 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 no. I've, I don't need confirmation. I don't need to be. I, I'm not looking for confirmation. I know it's a fact. That Do you get, even know what that term means? Up the ass. You know, Do you I, know I what know confirmation that, bias is. Yeah, it's where you've got an idea, right, and you're just mm -hmm. looking for clues to confirm your beliefs. Yep, that's that you have. Not. There and we go. Oh, I don't have. It. I can't have it because I know that I'd be sub. Su uh, no. sub Subject to them. so I can't because I'm too honest you, with myself to be subject. You to have that. an assumption. No, I don't. I, I've got facts that say that we uh, our, more than human. Our, our reality is not being presented as as you all believe in. Okay, uh, so then you uh, have you you, you believe more than one source solution. for your Lilith, right? Right, but you believe. Here's an example. You believe that politics are the. You can't tell me what I believe because I'm informed about that. About politics, or social. Well, you do. You vote. Do you vote? Voting no. has nothing to do with your Lilith, dude. Wait, you, why don't you vote then? Will Lilith be real if we vote for it? Yeah, but why don't you vote then? I don't want why to. Don't you? Not really particularly. I'm not interested vote? in politics. Why? Why? You're not interested. No, not really. Oh, fuck why would me. I need to be? Yeah, enough, right? That's it. Why would you? Why would you have to be interested in the most important thing that that affects it's your not. life? Why the fuck would you give a shit? That is the problem. There's people like you. That's the problem. Where because people are not interested in politics, they don't give a shit right. about you're you're problem problem now. Now. This, 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 this. You've just Same made my point. Right there. There's proof. There's proof because to oh, me, that's the interest people that are controlling your life. Look at Ali. Just got it all turned around. I bring it up. I know, right? Ali, so you made a claim about Lilith. Yeah. Show me scientific Lilith. evidence of Lilith. I'll have to. I'll have to. I will. Uh, the, I not, just said, one, not just I one. Not just one. I said appeal to authority. I have said there's scientists that have talked about this and they've postulated that it could Which be. Scientists? Uh, What's their name? Yeah, that's what I'm. I'll, I'll have to look up my massive files that I've got in my so, book. So. Hold on, just you're real talking quick. about Erebus, mythology. Erebus, Erebus, what would you consider to be scientific evidence so that we could satisfy your request? Photograph. Oh, that'd be nice. You want a photograph of an eclipse? Okay. Nope. No, 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 no. A photograph of Lilith would be nice. Yeah, yeah, we, we have that when the eclipse happens. So, okay. No, 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 before that. Before the lunar eclipse. You can only see a shadow on the moon, dude. You don't see a planet. And and why so, doesn't it? Why does, does, so I want to see it when it's not a shadow. Stars. I want to see it when it's a planet. Never said it was a planet. Never said it had matter. It wasn't a gaseous mass or whatever. So all it's the a matterless, kind of matterless in, invisible. Yes, yeah, so, so, so absorbs gaseous mass. The, the Based off of mythology. Right, was, was, it, that, was it was that physicists or astrophysicists that were positive? It, uh, I, think it was, I think it was. I think it was a book in astrology. I would have been uh, astronomy. Sorry, ah, uh, but it mixed in with astrology. That, but you've got to understand that astronomy is astrology. 
No. 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 Yes, no. no. It's the exact same, man. No. And you've got to realize it. So you're already, you're already nope. failing, dude. You're, you're yeah. a worshipping, you're a worshipping. The way that they move, they describe these things moving years and years ago. Particle physics. Ellie, do you think astrology is real? Uh, astrology. Do you think it's real? In regarding, uh, no, in yes, regarding yes, predicting, yes no, man. In regard, regarding predicting weather patterns, yeah, if you can learn. No, it, astrology. That is astrology. No, that's astronomy. No, that's not astronomy. That's astrology. Meteor that's meteorology is what well, we're predicting. Well, yeah, uh, uh, no, science is well, Maybe you need to do a refresh course. They were using astrology to predict weather before they used it for predicting people's lives. That's what they were using they astronomy, not astrology. Well, they, were, they were using astrology, the movement of the planets. Oh, and the what is astrology? Oh, right, That's right. Astrology, astrology is the premise that the movement of the stars, the moon, the positions affect affect uh, what happens on the Earth, growth of planets, uh, humidity, everything <laughs> affects through energies uh, coming from the planets. That's what astrology is. And they used to prove it by predicting weather. They knew that the, when the moon was at a certain position or Jupiter or whatever planet they were, or the five planets that they used or whatever, when they were in certain positions, that's where the houses came from, when they were in certain positions, it would affect weather and growth of plants and stuff like that. There's, it's, there's a thing called bi biodynamic farming. It's based on that exact system, a movement of star, uh, planets, positions of stars, times of the, the morning and stuff like that, right? It's, it's old shit, man. But that's what astronomy, and and that developed into that, and they took out that esoteric uh, because they couldn't explain how these energies were coming from, uh, you know, all the all the planets that were. They couldn't explain that, so they took that uh, esoteric. Of nonsense. Right. I, no, I put well, it to the right. The Chinese, I put it to the, the Arabic, the, uh, the 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 uh, where they name. You don't know what you're saying, Ali. No, you don't know what you're, you don't know, No, you don't know what I'm saying. You Ali. don't know what I'm saying. Right. I, that, put it, I, 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 I put it to the right of the gentleman economy. that he's talking bollocks. Um, <laughs> by the way, Ali, I think I found... Me, the, well, that's what, a history what, what, of... Uh, go Ali, read, I, go I think... History, guys, you are talking shit. You know nothing. Ali, just found your people. scientist that knows about and this. I expose it every time I come on and, and interact with you guys. I always expose your your depth, your weakness of the knowledge that you, pre that you present as if you know okay, everything. Ali. Right. Okay, you that's enough. Good. That's enough. Let us show you. All that. the time. Okay, let us show you. All the time, man. All the time. It's... it's it's oh, almost Ali. disappointing. Oh, God. It's almost so, man, I'm just trying to get a word in edgeways. Could, could, you, could you just let me get a word in edgeways? I was trying to say, I think I found the document that you were talking about that was talking about Lilith. I was trying to help you. Excellent. So that document's in the side chat. Don't need your help, and I don't want your help, and I don't thank you Which for your all. And I was going to say me agree with you. Yes, Arabs did name an awful lot of the stars. I think about probably 60 to 70% of the stars we have named to have Arabic names. Except for Beetle, guys. And if you're talking about the fact that, you know, the earliest form of astronomy was pretty much astrology, then I'd also agree with that. They gave significance to the movements of the stars and the planets. Yeah, me too, Dress, but you know that's not what he's doing. No, I know. Is he muted or something? What's going on? I don't know. He's probably yeah, and not muted. Right. And, and it's so funny you agreed with me, right? And now you turn, uh, but that's not what I'm doing. I was giving you a lesson in history. You've just agreed with me, but you've called me, Q called me a fucking idiot. You're talking shit just not idiot. two minutes before, man. Is there a joke? He's just, just doing this all the time. It's really fun. It's fun to listen. No, it's because um, we're, it's because of the way you're interpreting it and where you're trying to go with it. And, and no, I interpreted exactly how it was. What it is that you're implying is incorrect. 
No, but I wasn't It's just like you said about how people mix truth and lies, Ellie. That's yeah. what you've just done with astrology. Is you make truth in with farming. lies and you try to Bio feed it to everybody Bio here. It was just a pile of shit. And what Russ did was go through that pile of shit and no. pick out the one little that's bit of truth that you were using and cleaned it off and said, well, this is the truth. Thank you, Russ. Thank you for cleaning that truth off for us after Ellie shit all over it. You're pathetic. See, you, you, do you know what? You're beginning to sound like Brenda. Am I? Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, man. If you think that's a good thing. But well, well Ali, I've just... As you, notice, as you notice, the phenomena there is, if anybody that's listening or cares uh, to listen, right, is that I, they just repeated exactly what I said, but while I was saying it, they were attacking me. Left, right, and center, saying I was talking so, about shit. Yeah, I know. That's well, just, just, yeah, that's just all like interrupted you, dude. You like you tell that whole pile of shit, dude. A baller, comes out and pile. It. a baller comes out and confirms it, and suddenly it's true. How do, 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 that's is, not what does happened. anybody get that? That's this not is what happened. I, You're delusional. This is what I'm fascinated. You, you this are Ali, Okay, here are the that three is, statements that I made in my conversation. I just want to make sure we agree on all three of them. Yeah? Other people, other One, people the modern astronomy them. is not astrology. Two, yes, early practices of observing the stars, they gave meaning to the movements of the stars. And that was, there were some of them were some forms of astrology or prediction or significance and meaning. Yes, we all agree with that. Yeah, there's um, no but, point, though, Joss, because he doesn't care. Modern about the day astronomy drama. is not astrology. He just wants to talk about the drama about how once you didn't know. agree and now you do agree and how that it makes him I feel. I think he was taking it further. Hole, yeah. You shut your hole, yeah. man. You so, is there anything you disagree with what nothing. I said? You yeah, agree with all of that. To, you contribute absolutely nothing to this conversation, Q. Oh, you no, just I attack. You don't, uh, and these down. weak, these weak really gamma it. males just fawn round you like fucking. It's ridiculous. Uh, but it's fascinating to watch, though. It's, yeah, but it's kind of cringy. It's kind of cringy that they let you get away with it when they would pull up anybody else that was doing that. Well, anybody on the book, uh, the flat earth side, you wouldn't let it get away with your behavior. So it's Ali, I just had a week. He's talking about drama he's again, Ellie. Now you're just putting drama on me. What, what are you yeah, talking about? Your man, yeah, because I'm a drama. Because that's what I come on. I'm a drama. You can come on here to play games and troll yeah, course, and then I, cry about your feelings. No, no, that's, that's your opinion. That's the only way you come here to you talk about real Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Ali. Yeah, shut um, up, Q. Where you go, John? Can I, uh, yeah, I just, um, I was just having a, trying to have a look. Um, for uh, references to to Lilith, um, there's a whole load of uh, references to to Lilith in uh, in astrology. Um, there there isn't any references to it um, at all in astronomy. Yeah, of course. Um, the, but the but the one the most of the references I've found is it's like a Lilith is referred to as a as like a sort of uh, like a deity or a goddess. The, the, the only, the only, um, the only reference I find to it actually being something in space is that it's a, it's just a, a mathematical point in space um, on the opposite side of the Earth from the Moon, um, and it doesn't, it doesn't intersect with the Moon. It's not, it's, it wouldn't, and by that reason, and it wouldn't cause, it wouldn't cause a, a lunar eclipse. It's not something that would pass in front of the Moon. Repeat what you said there again. Sorry, I must start. But the only <laughs> reference, the only reference I found to Lilith being uh, an astronomical object, is that it's a, a mathematical point in space, which is on the opposite side of the Earth to the Moon. So it would never actually come between the Earth and the Moon and cause a lunar eclipse. So they actually, they actually, so mathematically, there exists one, yeah. Well, it's just a, it's just a, a, a mathematical construct. It doesn't really mean anything. It's, right, it's, but, it's, ancient, but wait a minute, ancient people or ancient peoples talked about this, and plus that uh, that you, there is recorded uh, eclipses with the sun and the moon at the sky at the same time, and the only explanation is this eight minutes difference oh in the light time. See, there's Q, no. fucking big fat mouth. I don't, oh, I can't believe it. I gave a little sun and the moon in the same time. Get a man. At the same time that the moon is eclipsed by the man. earth. How could it possibly happen? Or, or actually get some HRT, get some hormone replacement treatment. 
to what I just said about how on. stupid you are to say that, that like and to propose that eclipses shouldn't be happening with the that's sun and the moon in the sky at the same time that's dude. True. That's usually it just shows true. that you don't even know what you're talking about are you I, talking about I, a lunar eclipse dude are you talking about a lunar eclipse what do we say what components of space need to be in what order in order for a lunar eclipse to occur Ellie do you even even know you're on your computer so oh my god the sun and the moon are in the sky at the same time as the lunar eclipse oh my god what are you an idiot are you yeah, an idiot I've, I've, I've yes, got a yes you are an idiot and you've just proved that thing. to everyone and yeah, you're gonna right. sit here and and but try yeah, to convince yeah. yourself and everyone yeah. else that you're not an idiot i got but that I got, is the most idiotic thing ever dude of course the sun and the moon are in the sky at the same fucking time yeah yeah right good Right, so, but the point I was making... Get I've over got, it! I've got a friend, right? She was in the same situation as yourself. She was sort of angry and hot flushes oh. and stuff. And she actually oh. got this hormone replacement. Oh. And it'll come... Oh, it I, had this friend. I had this friend. He was actually a conflating was moron who went on and on about it. nonsense that he anger. didn't understand. And eventually, he just ended up wandering the streets alone. This anger... This yeah, anger no. is an issue. It's I'm becoming not even an issue. angry, dude. I'm not even angry. Dude, you you don't over. even know what anger you're, is. Yeah, your pressure. You're under pressure. Hey, dude, I can't believe that you're a grown man and you're yeah, surprised I, by the I, fact that I the sun and the moon are in the sky at the same time during a lunar eclipse. And you're sitting here arguing with people born. who have intelligence yeah, about it. And and that they would they would give you anything other than what I'm saying. I mean, seriously, dude, where do you think the sun and the moon should uh, be during a lunar eclipse? Then yeah, where yeah. should they be? In your pockets? Where should they yeah. be, Kelly? Let's what get components back. of the universe are needed in order for us to observe a lunar eclipse on this planet? And where, what positions do they need to be in? Do you even know? I think we can all agree. Go back to being surprised that there are things in the sky, Allie. It's easy it's for you. And then after that, why don't you pick some dandelions and be surprised about that? Really, really do something about it. Um, Allie? Yeah? Can I, can I address something real fast about Lilith? Oh, please do. Okay. Um, that's the new moon. Excellent. That it so it's that it has nothing to do. Well, that clears that up, then, doesn't it? It does. Uh, yeah, it has nothing That's to do it, with. So it's in the conversation. Lilith doesn't exist. Bloody blah. No, right. no, it subject. doesn't. That's the yep. point. Right. Next subject. That then, right. what was Lilith oh. was oh, described. Is it heart broken now, Ellie, because Lilith it's doesn't good. exist. Uh, you've proved it now. We can move it's on. Heart breaking. Oh no. I'll accept. I'll accept. I'm totally wrong about the subject because. It's actually the new moon, so let's move on to the next. Let someone else talk. Go and pick them someone else. Prayers have been answered. Yeah. Thank you, Allie. Well, I'll say goodbye then, Montreal. Um, Sean, thanks for putting up with whatever I was doing there, which was good to hear from you, Ali. In Montreal, yep. Uh, Chris, uh, plain tr uh, Travis, keep up the karaoke, my friend. <laughs> and I'll speak, <laughs> I'll speak to you later. Enjoy the rest of the show. Bye. Julia. I hope you feel better soon, Ali. Well, that was interesting. Sorry. That's just who I am, guys. <laughs> Hi, Sean. I mean, let's please, everyone, please just get over the fact that the sun and the moon are in the sky, guys. Come on, they're in the sky. Dude. That's where they are. Is uh, is Travis still here? Is he having a uh, a trucking uh, karaoke session? He's probably singing along too loudly to to hear us. <laughs> You know what? I do like the uh, I do like the intro music on uh, on uh, Travis's channel. I have to say, I reserve judgment on the rest of the content, but the music's very good. Have you heard him sing, dude? Um, I've heard him singing along. Yeah. No, the man has a <laughs> voice. No, yeah, seriously, I, he did a thing on Jose's, I think. Yeah, I was able to go get lunch. Go back and you guys talking about that stuff. 
Was that Sean? I said, I'm happy you guys were able to not kill each other. I went to go get lunch, and, <laughs> and you guys had no idea. <laughs> yeah, there was um, no casualties. There was almost uh, there was almost virtual su- uh, virtual homicide, but um, <laughs> it didn't get quite that bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone's still here. Everyone's still alive. Yeah, Chris everyone's here. still here. Where, uh, Chris well, left. What did you guys do to Chris? You were here uh, for that. Again? I just uh You were here for why Chris left. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Dude, we we didn't get to talk about the gyro compass. We didn't get to talk about the albedo. Yeah, because and he would have been debunked again. <laughs> yeah, but uh did you Ali B just uh just left? He might, he, I wouldn't call it rage quitting because he was fairly calm by the time he left. He can see um, that he left. He yeah, that it, Lilith is not real. Yeah, I, I've, I've tried to find. I've tried to find uh, um, uh, uh, information about Lilith, and it, it, it pretty much just, it just, it only exists in, in astrology. Oh, no, See, the thing is, is that the, the, the flat earthers can always argue that why would you be able to find that information if they don't want you to? They wouldn't put it on the internet. Who's going to put it on the internet? It's like there's only like six people in the world who know what Lilith is, so why would you ever, ever, ever find it on the internet? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just ridiculous. You cannot have this argument. <laughs> well, I mean, the the uh, from an astronomical point of view, if there was some kind of other object, the the moon wouldn't have the orbit that it has. Well, wouldn't we detect uh, its gravity? For, yeah, I mean, it would it would perturb the the uh, the orbit of the moon. The space around would, it. Um, yeah. So, and I mean, it's uh, it, it's I, it's uh, a black hole. Well, there's always that, but it, I mean, it's it, it's um to me the the uh, the explanation of exactly how solar and lunar eclipses occur is I mean it it is uh, it's not self-explanatory, um but the the um the science behind it that is um yeah it works um demonstrably so. Um, and to try and invent something else that we don't know anything about to add into the equation to to uh, come up with some alternative um, explanation is uh, just a bit silly. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. Well, I think it's important that we do look for alternatives. To everything except they kind of got to be backed on something. They can't just be far fetched and based on no evidence. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Um, um, ultimately, yeah, that's yeah, actually, what science actually, is. Actually, uh, I wanted to ask. Yeah, exactly. I, I wanted to ask Montreal what, what he thought about all this. Um, you know, I, I was like uh, the claims for Lilith and, and some of the other things. I wanted to see what he had, what what his his views on it were. Sure, Sean, no problem. I uh, was just doing research on that very subject. Funny you should ask. Um, apparently, Lilith was an ancient Jewish demon goddess. That's one explanation. Then <laughs> you hear all kinds of stuff here. Mother Goddess and uh, and Babylon and Jewish mythology. Uh, I really don't know much about it. More than that, I can't really speak on something I don't know. Uh, is, so is Lilith comes claims- from the original Inanna, which is a Sumerian goddess, and that's the goddess that gave rise to Ishtar, Starte, Isis, uh, Diana. Um, and so on. They're all representations of kind of an earth-based god, generally of the hunt, generally virginal. 
that tends to be the main things. Lilith in goddess, Judaic, goddess, not yeah. god, goddess, goddess. Yeah, god, you know. Um, in Jewish mythology, she's considered to be the first wife of Adam in the Talmud, um, and also the. I think they identify the star. I think it's Algol, um, which was the star that was associated to, to Lilith in in Jewish sort of. I can't. I can't think of their names now. But there, there's a one god in Egypt who had the three wives, and he turned one of them into the red heifer. That could be like a, like a Lilith character too. She's very similar. I can't think. Oh, of her name. I'm thinking against with H. Yeah, I can't think of it. They could. And I'm just got Hecate in my head, and I can't get it out. Yeah, he had people... three. He made. He created three. Three wives. Two of yeah. them were like cat women. And one of them was so... Because one uh, was bast. One one drank so much and killed so much that he turned her into a red cow. Right? If all these people were gods, how come they're not <laughs> gods like that anymore? Uh, I don't think they're gods. I think they're just like aspects of people, like personalities, power, things things that people like are intangible they represent about people maybe. But, but a lot of people try to act as if they're gods or they were the gods. You know what I mean? Like the moon is that person that they're talking you're talking about. Well, no, again, it's it 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 it's not that no. simple to generalize because different pagans had different views on different things. Yeah, it's so, more the way they valued things. So if they like if they yeah. valued the moon and they saw the moon as something like invaluable, then you know obviously only a god could own or control it. So it would be an attribute to give someone that would describe the power that they would have. Then wouldn't you say that most people are using these names and of uh, or invisible objects in the sky wrong? Well, yeah, there's potential that they're wrong about a lot of things because they have you know a limited information base because they're new to all of this, unlike us. Exactly. They can use the information that they had to build a closer representation of actuality, which means. <clears throat> Which we would call our understanding. Yeah, exactly. What do you mean when someone's using these these terms like the invisible object in the sky? It would make more sense that they didn't know it was the moon because they didn't couldn't see the moon. It didn't look like the moon from that they were used to seeing. So they would give it that persona or focus. I mean, that's a better word and um, a better word, especially when you're talking about. Um, you know, when, when we're talking about things like Bronze Age beliefs, it's more the persona rather than the actuality. So it's like a focal point, something you can gravitate to the same way with um, statuary. But statuary was more important than something like the moon. To Sumerians, if you took their temple god, you took their god. Yeah. You know, it's like capture the flag, basically. That's where you know it, it is capture the flag. Oh fuck! Why didn't I think of that twenty years ago? Oh shit! Kind of that like would be so you, cool. Sorry. <laughs> and if you kind of you study it throughout time, and you start at the beginning, and you get to now, you can see like there's an evolution. Like for what man it was experiencing at first, we were like real highly into an animism, and that's how we explain natural mm. events. We thought it that natural that weather was just another kind of animal, basically. And then as we as we grew in population and came stronger and were and witnessed more things such as eclipses, we started thinking nature had more of a conscious intention. And that's why we started creating these more focused gods, you see? And this more um like power source or something beyond human capabilities. You see what I'm saying? And it evolves and it evolves and eventually it evolved to a point where you can see now, it doesn't evolve anymore because now we are so much aware of the actuality of how things are working together in the universe, how eclipses are actually happening, what's causing weather patterns. We know that weather is not an animal, you see? So we've left that behind. Have you guys um, ever if heard of... sense. <laughs> have you, ever, you guys ever heard of uh, the 13th uh, sign of the zodiac? Sure. Or oh, Fucus. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's um it's one of the uh when when I worked uh with the public at uh at the observatory, um and you would occasionally get somebody who'd who'd say, Oh well how how does astrology fit in with astronomy? And uh 
I was in a professional capacity at the time, so I couldn't say, um, well, astronomy is uh, a real science and astrology is bullshit. I had to be <laughs> more more <laughs> diplomatic than that. Um, but the uh, yeah, the, there's a, an odd thing that uh, was it between between the constellations of uh, Sagittarius and Scorpio, there is this uh, quite large uh, constellation called Ophiuchus. Um, and um, according to astrology, your your birth, your your star sign is the is the constellation that the sun is in when you're born. Um, and they but they left out uh, a fucus, um, even though the sun, from our perspective, spends more time in a fucus than than it does in Scorpio. So if you were born, uh, I think it's I can't remember I don't I can't remember the dates, but it's like. Uh, the last week in November till the second or third week in uh, December. That's 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 the fucus. Um, aside from the fact that, that that all the dates are completely skewed, and they're a month, uh, they're about a month behind, as well. So everyone's star signs are actually all wrong anyway. <laughs> um, it's it's uh, I don't know. A lot of people like to find. I just got this picture of little old ladies running out of the observatory, weeping. <laughs> well, Sorry. I mean, I, 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 as I say, I mean, I, I was quite sort of sensitive and diplomatic about it. But I mean, if if somebody started talking to me about astrology, or whether or not the moon landing has actually happened, we'll be tied them, <laughs> basically, especially the moon landings. Mm. You know, so like taking taking like thirty odd people around in a, in a big group, and uh, they end up just really, really wishing that they hadn't brought it up. Put it that way. <laughs> Life. Anyway, I'm going to go and uh, do some chores before hitting the sack. Take care, guys. Okay, cheers. Have a good one. Night. Yeah, I trust. Guys, I found out some more info on uh, Lilith. Lilith, if anyone's interested. Yeah, I just posted a link on the side chat, and they do talk about the dark moon. I think you guys will find it interesting. There's even a um, a diagram. Now I'm not saying anything, but I'm just uh, pointing out that Ali wasn't speaking out of his, you know what? Of course, there has been talk of this before. Check out the web page. Yeah, well, no one accused him of that. I actually said that he was doing exactly what he accuses others of, of mixing truth with lies. Well, the, okay. thing, about, the thing about Lilith, Lilith is it, it, that it's, it's something that's been hypothesized. It, you know, it's, it, it's a, an idea that, um, that was, you know, based on, on um, what were thought to be quite concrete beliefs. Um, but it's never been... Um, it's never been found. It has been done. People have looked for it. Um, and there's, there's, there's lots of people would say it's, it's between it's between the Earth and the Moon. It's on the other side of the Moon from the Earth, um, it, or it's just a goddess, or it's this and that. And it's there's just just a, a whole hodgepodge you have, of. You uh, had better luck trying to find uh, the Sun's pair star because uh, there is a theory going around that all stars are binary stars. Which would mean that our sun has a sun that sits pair somewhere. Well, many, many, many stars are binary. Um, yeah, but there's a the theory but, that uh, all stars are binary. We just haven't proven it yet. I heard that one, Q. I heard that theory. Well, it's a. Uh, I, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say it's a theory. Um, that's well, the, that's, that's one of my word. one of my. We don't want to be it's one of my bugbears. Theory, then I'll say there's an idea. How about that? Well, it's just the the um, I'm a bit of a nitpicker when it comes to that. Well, <laughs> it's a, it, it, a waste of time when you're trying to talk about something like binary stars. Well, the thing is though that what I'm saying is that in um, in everyday conversation, I could say I, I have a theory that um, one of my friends uh, has got the hots for this girl. Um, and I think that because he talks about her all the time and he goes red with embarrassment whenever she talks to him. So that's a kind of an educated guess based on a couple of accepted facts. And in everyday conversation, we would maybe call that a theory. 
Wait, that's equivalent, though, to you a scientific hypothesis. You don't want to discuss binary stars. You want to discuss the semantics of the word theory. When I've already no. decided that I will not say the word theory, I'll say the word idea then. But you no, still no, want no, to just, go on with I'll your just, point to tell just me quick, about how you have I'll, the hots for me. Great. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's is just, your face it's red? just Is a, your face red right now? Is your face red right now? It, it, uh, it's go it's going red. Yeah. It's going red. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a it's one of the it's one of the big sort of disconnects between between scientists and and uh, the general public that they this word it's where the expression well it's just a theory, isn't it? But what they're actually saying is well it's just a hypothesis, isn't it? It's an unproven well, hypothesis. You don't know anything about binary stars then. Um, well, well, I do, but uh, no. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm happy to talk about binary stars, but I just I just thought I would quickly, maybe not quickly real. enough, um, uh, talk about the difference between a yeah a colloquial term and a scientific term. That's all. I mean, it was probably a bit boring, and so I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, you're right, John. But it's I semantics, think, I think, but it's I, very I, important. But I think of everyone here, John may be the most qualified to talk about binary stars. <laughs> Well, why isn't he? Uh, well, we should. Well, I mean, it's it's um, binary stars are. Uh, I, I haven't heard of a. I haven't heard of a. Um, any talk of all stars being binary stars? Um, certainly, lots and lots of uh, systems have binary stars. You know, the whole, the whole you know the Star Wars and. Was it Tatooine where Luke Skywalker grew up in the, the sunset? Uh, you've got two two stars setting. There are planets like that um, that have well, two two stars. It's so having two stars is that the idea? Like what created this star, or is that, or is it literally a star a star of that it, that matches it? I don't get it. Um, not in this system. Um, it's reckoned it that this. Like, go ahead. It would be like you know how they the the flat earthers are so upset because we're we're chasing the sun around at sixty six thousand miles an hour, right? Well, the reason why we're chasing that sun around at sixty six thousand miles an hour is because actually it's two suns orbiting each other at very great distances. So you see what I'm saying? That's how the binary star works. Well, the closest um, the closest. Um, star Most uh, stars his... actually have more than one star companion, so it's like a lot of them, 85% of stars have two stars that are orbiting a common center mass in space, right? And then uh, a lot of them even have multiple, like triple or more s systems orbiting the same spot. So it's likely that our star is a binary star, if not more. So our star is orbiting, our star is orbiting the black hole of our galaxy. Well, that could be that could be the space in, in the, the 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 mass and space that we're orbiting. But if we are orbiting that, there are other stars also other star systems also orbiting that with us. I thought, well, we know that for sure. Well, wait. Well, what we know what we know for sure is that uh, that our system is is a single star system. That we know that for certain. Um, the nearest the nearest um, star is is. Uh, about four and a quarter light years away, and the the gravitational pull of of the sun um, is minute by that point, and the and the gravitational pull of of uh, the Alpha enough. Centauri system is well, minute. Let's do our ability to us. measure. If things are out uh, of our reach. They're out of our reach, and if if the other suns that are orbiting this black hole with us are beyond us, they're beyond us. That doesn't mean they're not there. Well, then we do. No. I think that would be more of a, a lines of the the stuff in our galaxy that doesn't react like this. Yeah, but our galaxy would be the system. See, our galaxy would be the system that is traveling, right? Our well, solar system would be the system that's traveling, right? Well, our, it doesn't have galaxy, to be it doesn't have to be the same galaxy with the same sun. Well, then if it's a well, in that case then there's millions of stars in our in our system. Right. right. But is that count as the same thing? Well, no, because it, it would have to be orbiting the same center of mass as our sun. Well, there are billions of stars that do. But are they in our system is the question. 
No, they're supposed Should to be we, separate systems. Am I wrong, John? Is that, that that's the question, right? Yeah, I mean, the, the a binary system. I mean, it would be really, it would be really, really obvious um, to us if we were in a binary star system. We would see the other star, um, right. and the, the um, it, it's known that the you know the, the center of mass that the solar system is rotating around is called the barycenter. Um, but it's not the center of the sun, but it's ne it's it's near the center of the sun, and it sort of wanders depending on the uh, exact positions of the, uh, mainly the gas giants. And there's no evidence of another massive object um, pulling on the uh, on the sun. Um, so we know that we're in a in a single system. Okay, so I'm going to pull a picture up real quick, and I this is I'm not saying this is what it is. I, I'm just saying in my mind I'm trying to understand it. So. This is kind of like one of the only way they can do it. So what you guys are saying right now is that's two stars. One of those stars we orbit around, but we why don't we see the other star? No, the stars orbit around each other, Sean. Yeah, but well, Google it, tells me this. Google tells well, me this. It says, well, our sun is a solitary star on its own, which makes it something of an oddball. But there is evidence to suggest that it did have a binary twin once upon a time. Recent research suggests that most of it, if not all, stars are born with a binary twin. I'm not, I don't understand. Like, I'm not getting... Wouldn't we see it, though? Not necessarily. I mean, how well, big you, are the stars that are the closest star to us? Is a sun, and how big is it for your eye to be able to see? So, is it so? Do is the definition of this? No, there there was a sun out there that was well, rotating around the same thing that our sun was rotating around. How would you how would you decipher that? You would see it. You know, you'd have to measure it all the time. But there, if it was well, slightly out of our ability to to see, okay, see, that doesn't that's what doesn't make any sense to me because there are other stars in our galaxy. There are millions yeah. of stars in our galaxy. How, why don't they cla aren't they classified as part of our system then? Because we all, they're all orbiting around a black hole, right? I don't know about that for sure. This this thing that Google um, tells me I'm says that we do have a binary star. But I don't it's understand what a binary system is. Like it, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, the way you guys are when explaining you, it makes no sense to me. When you've got a when you've got a binary star system, you've got uh, instead of one star at the center of the solar system. You have two stars orbiting orbiting each other, and then so out from out out from that you have the planets. So it's not so, like you've yeah. got planets orbiting one star and some other planets yeah, orbiting so the other star. In this crappy picture that I showed a minute ago, we're out here in the outer bands of everything going on. Yeah, if we were in a binary yeah, system. Yeah. So, and the reason Channel Q, you're saying we wouldn't see it is because we'd always be in a in a orbit straight on maybe with it yeah there could be a lot of reasons why we okay. why we haven't picked up on it yet no, yeah, i'm just I trying to understand like where you guys are coming from now i'm starting to see it now so i'm starting to get what you're saying so that's, that was all i was trying to say i wasn't arguing but against according before. to google we have picked up on the evidence of it having it existed at one point so we did we did see it you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. because google says recent research suggests <laughs> Oh wait! It says that um, at there, but there is evidence to suggest that it did have a binary twin once upon a time, and that's our sun, right? So if there's evidence, then they saw something, right? Well, well we do know it. that we do know that the um, the sun is uh, is like sort of third or fourth generation. Um, so it, it, it's uh, you know it's, it's gone through its life. It's exhausted its its supply of hydrogen. It's it's uh, gone supernova. And the matter is the all the matter that exploded uh, coalesced again, um, formed another star which ignited with nuclear fusion process started again, and and so on. And that, it's reckoned that that's probably happened uh, about three times. Um, and one of one of those what? Yeah, but that's the that, to our sun. Yeah, it's it's reckoned that. Sorry to cut you. Yeah, it's reckoned that it's that it's uh, it's kind of. I think it's uh, at least third generation. Um, That's the first time I hear this. Yeah, but it's it's um, it, the 
I can't remember exactly how the how the how that's derived, but it's 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 from the the composite the known composition of uh, the elements in the sun. You know, for the for the age that it is, it shouldn't have all of the elements that are contained within it if it's just a first generation star. There's loads of stuff in it that you would associate with uh, that is produced during a supernova. Um, and if that's the case, then it you know it must have it must have uh, it can't be just a first generation star. So all the all the elements, pretty much all the elements, are formed during a supernova. What what evidence do you have that uh, something else can't produce what produce what you interpret as uh, spectroscopy? What evidence? What evidence do I have that it's, there is not right. another me mechanism to produce the same results as spectroscopy? Or there could be other elements that, uh, yeah, you know, what, el what evidence do you have that it's not something else than what has been presented as the mainstream explanation? Um, well, under every circumstance that we know of, um, the light produced by uh, by elements is is always the same and, and very very uh, identifiable. Like a, okay, so like when you say when you say uh, every instance, are you talking about instances tested here on Earth? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, it's it's not a it's not something that, that ever appears to to change. Sure. Okay. So you've got you've got recorded instances of elements on Earth that produce this kind of uh, emanation. All right, I understand that much. What, mm -hmm. evidence, what evidence do you have that whatever it is up in the sky isn't able to produce a similar effect and you might just not simply know what that is? Wait, wait are you asking? Okay, wait, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, I see exactly what he's asking. Travis, you are 100% right. There is a very much so a possibility that there is an unknown particle out there that we have not experienced and been able to explain and bam, one day we'll figure it out, but we haven't yet. And until yeah, then, we do understand how the sun works, how it, and the way we can emulate this is by, by, uh, by mixing various gases and seeing how they react with each other and the whole nine, dude, we, we're, on, we're almost to fusion right now, dude. Yes, we know how the sun works. That's kind of how it works. And, and, until something different, completely different happens, we really can't keep doing the what if. Is it, yeah, there's the thing no as well is going the, through all the trouble to you know have this tool and then not trust its results. Yeah, I mean, but the yeah, yeah, for no Travis, reason. in a realization, you are right. What if? That's a realization. Guess what? Dark matter, dark energy, the graviton, all those are kind of like what is going on. We can't explain it. Guess what? That's science, man. It but takes we're trying humility. to figure that shit out. It takes Trust humility. You. you have to go into things knowing that you don't know for sure, and you exactly. have to work towards being more sure. But I, th I think it's, I mean, in, unless unless you've got a you know a real sort of geeky interest in this kind of thing, like me, um, I, I can I completely understand where you're coming from, Travis, but. Um, from spectroscopy and spectral analysis, we can actually um, we can actually tell like h how much, like as a percentage, um, the composition of the the sun is uh, with regards to hydrogen and helium, um, and that's that's where the um, you know you've, you've probably heard that the the sun's about five billion years old and it's got about five billion years to go. And that's based on um, the amount of hydrogen left to fuse. Uh, you know, the nuclear fusion inside the sun um, it, holds back the gravitational sort of squashing effect of of the mass of the sun. And as long as that, that keeps said, going, it's in equilibrium. Yeah, with, with um, said, but that, that could also when, be another million years or a billion years past that. It's a range. Yeah, so they're off, it's a range. Yeah, I mean, it's a pinpoint. Been, so that, I think you guys try to make it. Oh, you guys say it's this. No, it's a range. Yeah, but it's uh, it's um, and we've observed other stars um exploding, um through telescopes, um. But I think about, I think it's once once every, 
a hundred years or so in our own galaxy, you get a supernova, but we see them in other galaxies. They, they happen all the time. Um, and if you can zero in on that light, you can get a, a spectral analysis of, of what has happened. Um, and what happens during a supernova is there's, there's a sufficient temperature and pressure to fuse heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier elements together. Uh, so, you know, the overused term of, you know, we're all made from stars, um, it is actually true. It's where, it's where all the elements come from, Without, with very few exceptions. Wait, wait, could that mean a, a star could be a creator? Um, in the sense that it provides the building blocks that we're all made of. Yeah, stars are creators. Mm. And destroyers. They, a, they, create, a, they create as they destroy. That's a, that's a think piece right there. Technically, we can call them resetters. Reconstruction, deconstruction. Well, there's a, oh, there's that's, a star, how it is. Um, that's what we're in. That's what we're doing right now. Yeah, that's that's alchemy. That's an alchemy saying. Oh shit. <laughs> there's a there's a star. Um, you know, I don't know if you're familiar with the constellation of Orion. Uh, there's a star in Orion. <laughs> nah, what's that? I, dude? I heard. Nobody um, heard of that shit. I got it. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> well, lots of like people, Lilith, dude. Lots of people say no. Um, but, you know, you've got Orion's belt. Everyone can usually identify Orion's belt. But the um, the top left, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, the top left star uh, in Orion is called Betelgeuse. And it's a red giant. Betelgeuse. Or Betelgeuse. There's lots of pronunciations. It's actually, because it's one of the um, Arab uh, stars. You got a hot mic? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's named by Arabic astronomers, so it's it's doubtful that it, yeah, it is actually pronounced with a B. Um, but it, yeah, don't don't say it again. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want Michael Keaton knocking on my door. Why not? That's um, a cool cat, dude. But um, but yeah, so the 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 spectral analysis of of Beetlejuice. So oh, I did it. Um, shows that it's a it's a red giant and it's running out of hydrogen. So oh, when it when it's when it runs out of hydrogen and it can't um, keep you going with this nuclear fusion reaction, it won't be able to hold back the the uh, the pressure of gravity, and it'll it'll go supernova and it'll explode. Um, but it's quite far away. But it's nothing to worry about. <laughs> but uh, if it oh, does okay. go off, <laughs> if it if it does go off. <laughs> Um, that's that's shit. It'll be a cool sight. It'll be a cool thing to watch through a tel telescope. Well, it's well, it, 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 supernovas are that bright that um, you can see them. Even say, even if Orion was uh, at the time of year, Orion was in the sky uh, during the day. Stars? You would see it during the day for for about three weeks in broad daylight. Oh, really? Cool. Um, yeah, so it's it's uh, fingers crossed. I mean, it's it's going to happen anytime soon, but astronomically, anytime soon, sometime between now and the next million years. Um, but uh, yeah, it'd be nice to see it go off. <laughs> <laughs> Orion would uh, uh, Orion wouldn't look so. Just in pretty. case anybody's wondering, I'm seeking a friend for the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're looking uh, in all the wrong places, Travis. But it's um, it's about five hundred light years away, you know. So it's not, you know, it'll uh, it'll create a nice light in the sky, and that's about it. But you're confused. Uh, Do I got to be worried or not? No, no, no. Okay. No, there's there's there's, there's, um, there's lots of other things that you should be much more worried about. Yeah, like uh, <laughs> like uh, geoengineering and. Uh, Blowing up, oh, no. uh, blowing up oil refineries so that your, uh, your reserves can go up fifteen cents a, ga a gallon. Oh, we blame yeah. Iran. Okay, sure. <laughs> that was really Fuck easy. You. We're oh, still geez. talking about st Sorry. stuff from out outer space. 
<laughs> oh no, I just brought it back to Earth. My bad. <laughs> you just tri- you triggered me. I guess you triggered a cue because because that's some shit no, you that's really going me, on. You said that shit about the oil reserves. Yeah, that shit's pissing me off. We, you know what we need to do as human beings. Well, no, let's keep it right. Check that. As civilians, as we need to boycott their entire thing, everything. We don't yeah, want any not, of it anymore. We don't happen. want their cell phones. We don't want their gasoline. Yeah. We don't want their cars. Yeah. We don't want their jobs. We don't want any yeah. of it. Uh, we just want to go computer. dig up our yards and plant the, some fucking corn. What about, okay, the guys? Computer? what about the computer you're on? Voicing your opinion. Fuck it, too. Fuck that, too. Turn it all off. Then you, then you Sit in the yard. Get, then grow no some vegetables. About, no one gets to hear Sing. About it. Play no guitar. They have refuse to do that. it because you but know what I, they're gonna do. No they're gonna blow out. up an oil tank, pretend if, like some country did yeah, it. We know, I'm we a know. bunch of innocent children, and then charge you a million dollars for but gas to, for the rest check, of your life. But, but check this out. Check you this have out. to refuse it. It's the only okay. way. Hong but Kong's if, doing it. Let's. Yeah, yeah. If we did that, though, let's go with Hong no. Kong. But if we did that, I'm going. This is what would I'm going red again. I like it when you talk angry, Key. <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> oh, wait. So when when we when this happens and no one knows what the hell is going on, who the hell are they going to hear the information cool they need to know about? Because we've we're giving Not up computers. Things. Yeah, we're just giving up our computers. So that means we can't voice our opinions anymore. Then who's going to find out about trap? This? I hate to break it to you, the computer is just going to be a trap, and it's not even going to be around very okay, much longer, well, dude. I'm not going to let this continue. Until and it's the, all yeah, it did exactly. was get everybody Until to expose who they, they are and all the dirty little secrets. What's going on? We can continue okay. to say stuff about what's going on, but they got to hear it. You can't just give up computers. I until, just told you. Not? I told why? you to just give it. A, go sit in your yard. They can, when then people walk by. Why are these people just sitting in your yard? And they why are you sitting in your yard? Oh, because we decided to boycott everything about everything that the government's trying to tell us we need that we don't need okay. because it's going to bomb oh, children okay, okay. and kill okay, polar okay, bears. Okay, okay, okay. And we're sick with the lies and the nonsense that we refuse to participate. I know, I know why. I know why. Because okay. if we did it that way. <laughs> we we end up in jail a lot faster, and here we have a little bit of energy. No, it's called <laughs> it's called a protest. It's called a sit in. We get huh? st- no. it's nope. called a strike. Nope. We strike on life. Uh-uh. I'm an information who, who guy. Was, was, I like to get I like to get the information out. Um, I'm not the type. I'm not the sit in type. Sorry, <laughs> I'm not tying myself to a tree. <laughs> it's a strike, dude. I I'm not stri- no, it's I like, strike. No, I like. I got look. I have practice today. I got let's get boycott to, gas then. Let's I got, boycott you know, yeah, gas. See, that's a problem because see, I. Well, I'm listen, gonna get people organized I, like Hong Kongians in America to go stand around to, the gas look, stations. You ain't even gonna have, be able to get in that motherfucker look, look, to get some I, gas. I will How hit about people, that? Hey, if you're in the middle of the street, I have come to the conclusion you need to be. I got Antifa hit. on the phone right now. I'm like, yo, let go. Uh, hoard up oh, them gas them. stations. Bring them. I dare you. Fuck Iran. Fuck all of them. They want to blow up an oil refinery. That could be their problem. I'm just saying. You let a string of people block my way. To get into my son. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna be on the news, mom. <laughs> yeah, somebody's <laughs> gonna be dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you right no, now, that's a bad idea. No, I'm not talking about keeping anybody from their children. I'm talking hey, about boycotting hey, gas. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring your children you, in the yard wait, with you. Teach channel, them how to plant a seed, channel, dude. Teach them you that. Know? How are you going to organize? No, you you how, talk about plant no, no, seeds. No, no. Plant some fucking literal seeds, I motherfuckers. Channel. I have a question. Trump 2020. I have a question. Plant some literal motherfucking seeds, Q. bitches. Q, I have a question. Sorry. How are you going to organize? Really how are you going to organize this if you're not on your computer anymore? Dude. I don't know. I'll, just, I'll just reach into your mind with my telepathic ability, dude. I'm Ham God, radio, dude. I just got my fingers in all your brains. I Just make a ham what? radio and talk to me. <laughs> uh, Megaphone. Yeah. Time out. You, you know you not... can feel my fingers in your brains. Come on, people. Get it together. Boycott all this bullshit. You don't want you this nonsense. How many more times you got to buy permission. a fucking iPhone? Hey, Q, you didn't ask me permission to put your finger in my brain. I didn't need your permission, baby. I think you do. I think you no, do. It's 2019. It you need permission to do everything. No, this is my world, sweetie. Mine. No, it's no, all no. Mine. it's their world. No, it's mine. You, just you don't need to touch it people to with the five They lost it to me. They lost it to me. I Dude, want it. They lost. You just need to fall in line. Now mine. And, and it's going to do what I want it to. You need to get off and, YouTube and, and not do this Maybe anymore. like subscribe to like a CNN or an NBC and just watch them and get all your information from them. And then I you can live your life, your whole global life, like all <laughs> <laughs> like everyone else does. Who are you talking to? Me? I'm talking. Do you need to fall in line? I'm just explaining to you how Globers are. Fall in line. 
I'm just, just I'm just going to see cue that it's I'm twenty sure nineteen. Line cricket, John. It's all cricket. It's whack. <laughs> it's, Don't worry about it. I'm following it. It's it's twenty nineteen, and and I've got to say, you, you only have to stick your finger. It's the current into year, guys. Brain. It's the current year. Stick We're your finger in the once, and uh, that, that's a criminal offence. I'm just saying. Car, whack. I didn't commit no crimes, bitch. I'm just saying. You should, yo, model, you, whack. You have, you have admitted <laughs> on live, my live stream that you have f put your finger in my brain. Yeah, and you liked it. It doesn't matter. You didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> didn't need it. Yeah. Apparently, no. it's not okay. No means no. <laughs> I don't even have to say no. You need a written consent for me to say yes. He still didn't say no. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to either. <laughs> but yeah, oh. I would be. Uh, I would be far more worried about uh, very long period comets that just appear out of nowhere. Uh, if I was oh. you. God damn it! Which one? <laughs> talking about? Yeah, what's up, man? You got some shit, hey? Because hey, John, red. I'm gonna tell you right now. First of all, I want to know, let you know I know the conspiracy with amateur astronomers and the college and then the government. I know what's going down. So if there's some shit that you have seen that you need us to know, but you're not allowed <laughs> to say, blink twice, go. <laughs> no. No, no. All right. That was just code the... on the iron lung. <laughs> Wait, when this stream ends, can you at least tell me? <laughs> no, Don't there's tell no. Anybody. The, the, th the thing, what I'm talking about is, is that um, I mean, people people spot comets all the time. I mean, it's it's quite often amateur astronomers. Yeah. Like your know, comet Lovejoy is named after this guy Terry Lovejoy that that spotted it before Wait, anyone it else on? with his own telescope. You oh my God! But, you, um, probably, yeah, you probably know about this. Um, okay, so there's a object way, way out, not in our galaxy, that um, does the, what do you call it, the gravitational lensing where it crosses in front of something. Uh huh. But this thing is too big to be anything we've ever observed, star-wise, I don't give a fuck-wise, but the time oh, yeah. that it, it lensed out was like, what the <laughs> is going on? <laughs> and they're talking like those those Stars that there's generate whatever the I don't even know what you call Dyson it. Dyson yes. sphere. Yes, they're talking about uh, there been something that size or something. Yeah, they still don't know what that is. Um, yeah. but uh, <laughs> I have a name for it. You guys want to laugh? <laughs> Dark object. No, because you want to know what they call it? <laughs> it. They call it like a what is it? Something, no, no, it's something with a cuss word in it, but it's like weird. It's not, it's a TED talk. This lady was talking about it, and they sound as confused as it gets. It like brought everything back into spectrum. Like the whole idea of aliens, it's in their brain now. Uh, the idea of what this object could be, they've gone off the cuff because now they don't have a fucking clue. Now that's some shit I yeah. want to know about. Like, what could yeah, they don't. Do that? They don't know. They don't know what it is. I mean, there's no. There's nothing else um, that exhibits the same. The same kind of uh, signature as, as this. Uh, this object. But I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't mean that it's aliens. It might just be something oh, no, that no. we have. We don't. We haven't discovered before. Well, but, no, um, wait, wait, wait. Whatever it is, it may be. Hey, and, no. Before I say this, this is just my brain. This is a hypothesis. This is me throwing some bullshit from left field that came from over the stand from a guy named Fred. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it could be like a, a source for gravity. But for all we know, we don't know what the fuck it is. Cause like we a gravity omitter? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Emitter? <laughs> Not omitter. Emitter. Uh, I, I just, that was, meant nothing to any claim or evidence. That was just, I smoked like three bowls. Not my fault. So I'd, re I'd really <laughs> like a, a home a home sized uh, gravity omitter. That would be fun. Emitter. No, but one that uh, omitter would be to cut out the gravity. Wait, wait, I said no, the wrong. No, 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 no. Yeah, like, like just wait, wait. yeah, like wait, just channel? just in my just yeah. in my my kitchen or something. Well, I could we, just switch off gravity and pull it oh, around. Okay. No, no, we are <laughs> our own gravity emitters already. Each one of us have a gravitational pull. 
Yeah. Well, this is true. Don't use that as an excuse to get close to me. <laughs> you got your, hey, you're the one that's got your finger in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's your problem. Clear, that's clearly platonic. <laughs> But yeah, the um, but yeah, like I was saying, the the um, long long period comets, um, like you remember, remember in the mid nineties, it was uh, Comet Hale Bob. Yep, yep. That's um, when that kind of swung really, by and took off again. Really bright comet. Nobody had ever heard of it before. Um, it had never been observed before because it, it it takes such a long time to to orbit the uh, orbit the sun, and now it'll be gone for thousands of years. Um, so you you do get these comets that just arrive, not like Halley's comet that's you know we know that it's going to come every seventy six years, just these uh, these objects that come from the outer solar system with no no data, nobody knows anything about them, where they're going or anything. Um, that's uh, to me is uh, is is kind of. You know, far far more worrying about the death of the sun or or anything like that. But because well, um, we won't be around. Well, see, the thing is, is if there's nothing that the idea is that we see these things in a trajectory, and then we figure out the trajectory based on you know it entering our solar system and interacting with the different planets and the, what time of year, yeah. obviously. Um, yeah. So, which ones would we not see? It's just one we wouldn't. We just didn't look in that part of the sky at the right time. Type situation. Well, they come. They come. Comets. Comets. Uh, you know, they, they come from the the far, far outer reaches of the solar system, and um, they're they're dark until they get close enough to the sun to be illuminated. Ah, okay. Um, and and um, they, they just kind of appear. Um. But yeah, and there's also, I mean, it's not, people kind of think it's a bit of a joke, but it's, um, I'm pleased to see that there are um, projects going on now, you know, with the idea of like, how would we actually nudge an asteroid off course that we know is going to hit the Earth? Because it is going to happen at some point. There's nothing on the horizon. There's nothing that we know of um, that, that's, any danger to us, but at some point it well, it will happen. What I've heard is like since they started doing a lot of the orbiters around the moon and stuff, <clears throat> like they've when they've uh, taken pictures of the dark side of the moon, quote unquote, which is mm. actually a place. <laughs> no, get that clear. Um, they said they've seen like now that like, they because they didn't see it before previously, but these craters that show that I mean massive stuff is getting is is getting deflected by the moon and getting hit by it. You know, we don't see as much of it because we don't see the back, that side of the moon ever. And our side of the moon is facing us. So anything that would hit it would be either really small or something, but it would never be something that large because we would see the hell out of that. Well, the moon's kind of a special case because it's, it's um, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a similar age to the Earth. Um, and, and it's... Um, it kind of geologically died um, billions of years ago, um, and there's this there's this uh, period in the early solar system called the uh, the late heavy bombardment, when there was still loads and loads of big rocks flying around, um, and the moon and the Earth got hit by these things. But the difference with the Earth is that we've got plate tectonics and volcanism, and weathering and erosion. And all of the craters are are all but gone because the you know the the earth is is constantly kind of uh, renewing its surface, yeah. but the moon's dead. So all these craters from billions of years ago are about, are about as pristine as the as the day it happened. Um, it doesn't have so an atmosphere to to ruin it, basically. Uh, no, and it's not. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't have a. It, it, it's there's no geology like it, there's no active geology really when the moon yeah, there's no so it's, earthquakes there's no wind there's no rain there's no there's nothing that affects what's there well there there are uh moonquakes um and there is there is slight geological activity i was trying i think i mentioned this the other day that you know we've got tides on earth um because of the moon the moon also actually has tides. 
in its in surface. Like the the surface of the moon actually rises and falls um, uh, like a tide because of the the um, the gravitational pull of the Earth, and that does that does go to kind of get a sort of compression and release effect all the time that does actually cause a little bit of geological activity. Um, if you're a bit of a moon geek like me, um, if you're looking at the moon sometimes, it's very rare, but sometimes you can actually see like outgassing in the craters, like a sort of cloud, big cloud of gas um, that's, that's there one night and gone the next. Um, but it's uh, yeah, quite rare. But yeah, you do get the the, the moon does have uh, little earthquakes. Not not anything that's gonna you know cause any any real damage. But yeah, I've never heard of that that the moon did that. That's crazy. I just Google uh. The, how ocean tides explain that it's supposed to be the moon explained. Ooh, that cursed word. But this is what is wrong with this slinny hairy guy, uh, Sean? And oh, there's a lot wrong with that guy. He likes me to shout out veganism and stuff. He's weird. He's You're weird like now. just having a conversation with Wolfgang about his poor sick cat, and he just keeps going on and on about rapists. What the fuck? Who's this? Lenny, I'm, I'm guessing Lenny is the aggressor. <laughs> Lenny, you know what's going to happen, right? Don't offend anyone now. Which would probably be impossible. Just like it would be satisfying to be able to time him out if he's going to act like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can do that now. Well, I'll let other people do it because other people have been wanting to, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, he, he lost his wrench just now, so anyone who'd like to do whatever, enjoy. <laughs> Lenny, Lenny kind of knows how it works. Once he gets to a certain point, I let the, the wolves attack. <laughs> That's how it has to be. <laughs> I mean, sometimes, sometimes Lenny does get a little aggressive. I think it's because he doesn't, be. have a good, doesn't have a good uh, meat diet. <laughs> I think it's because he's a vegan. I'm not sure. I just remembered actually the the I think the the biggest uh, impact crater on the moon is on the side that's facing us. Really? Um, oh, if you if you're looking at um, looking at the moon, uh, it's at like sort of ten o'clock. If the moon was a, a clock face, it's, a, it's a, one of the the seas um, of the moon. At, it's at called. Eight it's something. called. Sorry, I'm about to pull it up. It's called Mary uh, Imbrium, which means the Sea of Rains. It's fine. Uh, we show the whole. It's not on the dark side. No, that's Mary Christian. I think. It's on. If you bring up the whole moon, a picture of the whole moon. Oh, let me just get a whole picture of the whole moon. You know, you can't see the whole moon in one picture, right there, John? Oh, I'm just joking around, man. <laughs> <laughs> or actually, I'm not joking. You really can't get the whole moon in one picture. It doesn't work that way. Only half. I think it's 49%. Okay. Definitely 49%. But it's like on the opposite side from... Oh, here we go. Oh, that looks like a pretty big... Uh, Is that real or not? Yeah, so the fourth, the fourth picture along... That large, um, so it's the no, it's not that one. Um, yeah, it's that it's you, you go back to the, go back to the page before where there was uh, lots of tiles of pictures. So, see so the, the one that's annotated with uh, with um, names and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, at uh, like sort of ten o'clock, it says uh, Mary Imbrium, and it's pointing at that big circle. That's about seven hundred miles wide. Damn. Um, 
And uh, from all the, the studies that have been done on the moon, what, what happened there, all, all the seas on the moon are lava fields. So you get an object that's big enough. And when the moon was actually geologically active, it had a, a mantle and what have you, like the Earth does. And if it was hit by a big enough object, it would actually puncture the crust and the crater would backfill with lava. Um, so you get it was a, literally a 700-mile-wide lava field, like something out of Lord of the Rings. Damn. And the, uh, the shock wave from it was so powerful that it went right through the moon and shattered the crust on the other side. Which is down, which is what's going on down in here? Like on the dark side of the moon. Okay. Uh, it, it actually shattered the crust on the other side. It almost broke the moon, <laughs> basically. <laughs> I wonder if we can get... You gotta have images of the dark side of the moon by now. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's. I don't know if it's that. Yeah, if it's that obvious. The over there. God damn it! I always hit that shit like I'm on the. Ah, uh, better term, far side of the moon. Yeah, that one just riddled. That yes, definitely has a lot them. more. Take all those hits for us. It's got our back, yo. <laughs> <laughs> what did it say? That's called the real loyalty right there. <laughs> <laughs> Taking one for the team. You take a few billion. But yeah, it's a... Uh... I like uh, I like just looking at the uh, at the moon uh, through a big gonna, telescope. I was going to say that's a that's an intro for uh, the Rick Astley, isn't it? Never going to let you down. <laughs> it's been it's been a while since I did. Rickroll, everybody! What the fuck, dude? Just rickrolled everyone on the panel, dude. <laughs> no one felt it. It's kind of like your finger. I did. It's kind of like how you put your finger in your mind. Oh, but it, uh, that. yeah, it puts a see the uh, see the crater the near the bottom the quite conspicuous uh, little crater. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's uh, that's Tycho. Um, you see the white stripes that are emanating from it. That's that's ejecta from the uh, from the impact. Oh, and some of them some of them are many hundreds of miles long. They go right up. In fact, one go, one of them goes right through. See the, the um. The Sea of Serenity, which is just to the right of that Mary Imbrium that I was talking about mm. before. Um, one of the rays goes right through the middle of that. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, yeah. Right there. I get there. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Right there. Right there. Yeah, it goes through uh, all the way up through this one to the hip, right? What's that? One, is it? I'm trying to see. You were saying it spans through. Uh, you can't see. It. There it is. Because there's Tycho. And then you're seeing the spans. Some of them run yeah. into the other, one of the seed. Was it? Which one was it? Yeah, the um, the one at the, uh, the, the top that's underneath the, the north uh, cardinal point. So, Mar uh, Sea of Serenity, yeah. Yeah. One, one of the rays goes right through there. Yeah. They're reckoned to be, uh, the material's reckoned to be tens of meters deep. It's, uh, so when you get hit, when something gets hit by a, by a, a you know, an asteroid or a large meteor, the re that's the reason why craters aren't, um, you know, you might expect them to be oval shaped. But the impact of something traveling at you know many thousands of miles an hour, when it hits, it's like a bomb going off. Really, <laughs> rather than rather than you kind of uh, throwing a golf ball at some sand, it's like, it's like, <laughs> just a little, a <laughs> little bit. It's uh, it's it's actually like a like a bomb going off. I'm yeah, trying to find some of the photographs and or the images of like uh trenches and stuff 
That shit's crazy. They're uh, lava tubes. They're like collapsed, uh, collapsed lava tubes. Go rules. They're pretty. They're pretty big. Apollo fifteen landed to, uh, next to a really big one. This is crazy. I can't believe how upset you guys got about my gas boycott idea. <laughs> I, I was more about the boycotting <laughs> computers. <laughs> well, like, Carlos computers. hadn't said anything all day. He came on camera to tell me, oh, I'm gonna stop me from getting gas. I was like, okay, dude. <laughs> I'm going to patent my uh, my home gravity emitter uh, tomorrow. I think. <laughs> Kids are addicted. <laughs> Your fault. What's that? Addicted to gravity? It's not my bit. fault. No, I'm a little bit addicted gasoline. to gravity. That's you. Aren't we all? How many of you like the way gas smells? <laughs> It's a little personal. I I do. Yeah, I I don't know. <laughs> uh, I grew up in a garage, so it, you know it kind of brings back memories of my grandfather. Yeah, I kind of like the diesel smell. <laughs> diesel is awesome. Anyway, guys, I better I better hit the hay. It's uh, eleven o'clock. All right, John. Hey, I, I need, appreciate I need, it, man. I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> I definitely appreciate it. All right, guys. Um, no I worries, got man. Let's get one more clear. questions for next time. <laughs> okay, so. cheers, guys. Have a good one. Actually, later, I'm, John. I'm going to go ahead and round this one up, unless anybody See wants you, has something they wanted to talk about. Anybody? Somebody? Actually, I did. I did want to ask you a question, uh, Sean, uh, uh, about the Army Corps of Engineers. Do you consider them doing? Um, uh, uh, oh, uh, geoengineering when they, uh, you know, with all the building and stuff that they do? Um, not outright. Um, there are some projects that have, uh, per se, uh, China uh, built a dam that actually does, is considered a geoengineering project. Um, or it's not a project, but a, a, a feat in which can, which controls it because it actually diverts rivers and it does this crazy shit. Um, so I don't think and overtly, I think they are contracted to do a lot of the stuff because, let's face it, they're cheaper. I think they yeah, have, that's they, have their sure. finger, they definitely have their fingers in other stuff that's going on that they don't talk about. But that's why they have them. That's why they. That's why they train, basically, only to do stuff like you know construct and do uh, engineering projects. Yeah, the reason why I was asking was, uh, you know, I mean, with the whole thing in in uh, in Florida where they they uh, basically made Lake Okeechobee bigger and huh? reworked canals and things like that, you know, to me that's I consider that uh, uh, geoengineering because you're basically setting up a place and completely changing, you know, how the land runs and everything like that. Well, check this out. So this is going to be, it's going to sound weird, but it's true. And I've actually had to fall in lines with this. There's actually a, a plan in these construction of how to keep it from changing populations of species and stuff. It does happen and you can't get around it, but sometimes the projects that they do are still so small that they still don't. Um, changing and don't make this is not saying any of this is good. I'm just giving the clarifications between everything. Um, killing off species in an area and, and, and changing. So, for instance, building a canal, it may, it's going to take out a lot of animals that weren't water bound. It's going to bring animals that are water bound. There's not enough food. That's still not a geoengineering classification yet. Once it, it, it's still local, it's still in that area. So anything they're doing is still local. So the difference would be on a larger scale, uh, yeah. you know, like covering like, you know, half a state or something like that. Ooh, bigger. Um, put it this way. So the reason 
the reason the East Coast gets humid, the reason uh, the Midwest gets tornadoes, and the reason the Midwest or you know Colorado and gets snow, and we get the river, or we get um, a cool breeze and perfect weather. It all is because of one system. That's a system. That's how it works. Once that system becomes uh, um, comes irregular, that's geoengineering. So if something I'm doing in California, if it changes something in Arizona, eh, that's that's getting on. That's a large scale, but it needs to change that climate and the way weather works completely. So, for instance, um, with the geoengineering that they want to do. For instance, solar radiation, solar radiation management. What will end up happening is um, they'll they'll what they'll do is, is they'll start blanketing everything. What will happen is, is the climate won't have a way to release, so everything's going to change. It's going to not. It's not going to have a system. It's not going to have a melt a melting point. So where it gets humid in one area, will not will no longer have a another system that is stopping it from covering the rest of the United States which means that the water may get warmer some places and get cooler in other places. Here in the Pacific Coast, if the water gets any warmer, we get hurricanes. Well, that's going to happen. Well, if it gets cooler in the Midwest, they're going to get snow in July. That's going to happen. Stuff like that's geoengineering. It has to cover everything. Um, if I was going to give it the smallest scale, anything, I mean, the United States will is one part that will be affected in a geoengineering aspect, not half, not a quarter, the United States. Like that's I got you. Yeah, I mean, it, it, the scale is it's a finite line. And, and don't get me wrong, cloud seeding is very local. But cloud seeding changes the way these local areas, um, the, the system works. I mean, mudslides that don't ever happen, uh, draw, you know, they really do take the moisture out of the air. So there are areas that aren't getting any any moisture that they were getting before. That is what I would consider a tiny geo. I wouldn't even classify as geoengineering, but for this, this conversation, it's a, uh, a mini geoengineering. Right. And, and that's that's kind of why I brought it up because of, uh, you know, when they when they dammed off the 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 wetlands, and part of the wetlands dried up so they could build more homes and things mm -hmm. like that. You know, it, it, it did affect how the weather patterns were just in, it, you know, at least in a local region because of the, uh, the water cycle there. Yeah, that, that's, that's still local. Um, if we say because of that, states beyond it started changing their, theirs, that would be the, the beginning of a geoengineering effect. But it's like I said, it's even weather is different from the climate. Like, um, right. Like, you know, if, if you're in Florida and you have that humid uh, weather all the time and hurricanes, tornadoes, um, you're not those big aspects are going to be changing rather than does it rain that day or you know what I mean? Or 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 is it going to be uh, 100 compared to 85? Like just little things become these big drastic things that change gotcha yeah 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 um what is it? i think probably this weekend i'm probably going to do another geoengineering weather mod uh uh stream like you know just just that alone um because there's a lot of things i've I found in, the, in, in a lot of publications and, and then a couple of the streams i listen to they brought to light so I, I got some stuff i wanted to bring out and let everyone know because guess what uh, scope x it it started <laughs> yeah they started and didn't tell nobody but I, I i i have the publication of their first uh first initial test i want to show that and i don't want to mix it with the flat earth stuff so this weekend i'll be doing all that but gotcha. but bigger news sasha here is our uh representative of the globe earth made a little trip an awesome trip, if I say so myself. Sasha went to LIGO. Oh, really? You're muted, Sasha. Went to LIGO, but can't figure out he's still muted. Damn. Just check. Let me get my <laughs> microphone. And what everyone doesn't know, Sasha was supposed to do a presentation on this, and I hyped it up. 
I had everything ready, and he went. I had to go to dinner. Thanks, Sasha. Uh, I got <laughs> invited somewhere last minute. Can't say no to somebody inviting yeah. you to my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What it is to be a kid again. Uh, I had friends once. <laughs> I'll go ahead and share some of your pictures just because, you know. Yeah, I, there's a couple on there. Um, so that's 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 from the what you see right there. That's from the museum. There was uh, there's a music little little museum. It's not it's not huge. They oh, kind of walk wait, around. Wait, wait, Sasha, and I want to let everyone know. Um, you know, you do owe me a presentation of LIGO. So what we're doing I, now. I will Okay, so what we're, do yeah, what we're doing now is just the, the build up to it. So everyone yeah, knows. Yeah, we'll get that together. Okay. Um, so that, that's um, part of the suspension system that they have on, that, on, on the lasers, on the tubes in the tunnel, just to try and minimize outside vibrations. So those are what absorbs the, the vibrations. From the two, or try to or in, try yeah, to at least do it. Do, do their best. So, yeah. I'll, once I get that presentation together, there'll be a lot more information. But yeah. oh no, okay. This is just a rough, rough. But, rough. you don't even so, know what order these pictures are in. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> that's your punishment. <laughs> so we went there. We looked around the museum a little bit. We had a, it was a 30 minute tour of the facility. And then we had a, well, sat down for, there was a 30 minute talk and I recorded that. We'll post that on my channel. Oh, it's got to be on your you channel. Huh? Yeah. I'm not giving that to you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I, hey, it's on your YouTube channel because if you do, I can go get it. <laughs> um, it's not there yet. Oh. It will be. Uh, so that's one of the arms. Uh, if you zoom in, that white building in the distance is halfway. So that's a halfway mark on, on that arm. And then there's another two kilometers past that. And the arms, they used to be um, just that steel tube. The one that I showed you earlier in the previous pictures. So they used to be just that, just that tube. The next next picture over. Um, they used to be just this tube, and they didn't have the concrete over them. <laughs> but they they added the concrete later because they were having problems mainly with humans getting too close to it. Hearing their footsteps and talking and all that stuff. Well, yeah, and th those those things are really sensitive. They they can hear the cars on the freeway. They can hear that the engineers only go and walk down the arms when the thing's not recording. They have a three hour block on Tuesdays <laughs> when it's not recording, and they 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 go do maintenance on that because it, it's super sensitive. Because it's trying to detect. Uh, let me see. I have I have it in my notes here. It is detecting shifts of um. Maybe I didn't write down. Oh, gee, Sasha. Come on, man. <laughs> that was one hell of a build-up, though. <laughs> they're, they're, well, they're, they're, they're several times smaller than a, the width of a human hair. So they're very small shifts that they're detecting. And they're not detecting vibrations. That, so the lasers in there, the gravitational waves that they are detecting are not 
affecting the lasers. That's not what they're measuring. The lasers are measuring distance to the mirrors that are at the end of that tunnel. And the, when the gravitational wave passes, it shrinks everything, like pushes it together, squishes it a little, and then stretches it back out a little. And so it's measuring the distance to that mirror to see if there was a squish and a uh, and a release. And then and th it all happens so fast that obviously a human couldn't um, figure see it just by monitoring it. So they have a computer algorithm that's uh, monitoring for candidates and they've detected 26 candidates so far and 11 have been confirmed but that's barely anything because the math predicts that there should be one every 30 minutes so they're, they're very far from detecting all of them uh, right now they're when they detected the first one, they had two LIGOs. There was one in Hanford and one in Louisiana. And now, I didn't know this, but there's a third one online in Italy that's uh, collecting data, too. And that they can pinpoint the location of where it's coming from much better than they could with just the two of them. There's also... Japan's building one. It's going to be underground in some mine shafts. And it's going to use sapphire mirrors. And that one's going to come soon. So they all share data in between them? Yes, they all share data in between them. And then they, they can tell where, the thing, where, the, where they're detecting it, the gravitational waves from, where they... But or whether or not they actually detected one by seeing if by seeing the distance that the one in the or the time between when the one in Louisiana detected it versus the one in Washington versus the one in Italy. Yeah, it's supposed to like be able to the signatures would match up no matter what or something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a let me send you the pic. I have a picture for you to post. Um, it was this one right here. So that's going to. So I just sent it in where I send all the other pictures. Yeah. But that's showing the very first detection. That pic the picture that Sean's about to bring up. And how it matched up uh, 0.7 seconds apart, I believe it was, between Hanford and Louisiana. Louisiana saw it first, but Hanford saw it clearer. Yeah, I gotta pull up. Was it ready? <laughs> Here, I'll get it right now. <laughs> yep, well, that's it. Hang on, everyone can already see it. <laughs> I gotta save and all this shit. Hang on one sec. Oh, actually, no, I don't. Here, let me see. Drop down. I'll share it right now so you can see that I'm sharing it. So yeah, that's the picture of the very first detection. The red line's the the one in Hanford, and then the blue line is overlaid on the red line. And you can see how close they, they match up if you zoom in a little. Well, I can't. 
Actually, I can. Fine. Jeez, man. Oh, we'll zoom way out. I don't know why. And so they were that that's that was the very first one they detected and confirmed. That's awesome. Well, that's and, really cool. Uh interesting fact about this stuff. So it's all it's all done in a vacuum. Because light can travel for vacuums. So the tube um, vacuum vacuum or so the, yeah, the metal tube that I showed you, that's under vacuum pressure. And the the tube actually has that accordion shape so it can expand and contract ah. with the weather. Mm -hmm. The mirrors are mm -hmm. the ones that they have to keep stable. The tube they don't care what the tube does. The tube's just holding holding pressure. Uh, or, gotcha. um, the concrete is just to keep humans and animals out. <laughs> Even though they did have a they did have a mouse problem at one point and the mice were urinating on the tube and that was causing <laughs> That was in Louisiana, and it the acid was was going through the tube, and they had to. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's ironic. And, but when they when they put those tubes in there, they they decontaminate everything. They don't want any dust on there, anything that could possibly um, interfere with it. So they. Have it, there was an oven on site at the at the one location I went to, but those tubes those are way too long to fit in the oven, so they wrap those in uh, wire, and they ran current for it for what was it for. Um, it was, uh, I think it was a month per, per, um, one kilometer long section of the tube. Then they were running electricity for it to disinfect it. And then they, they had to do that four times to... Before it would be ready, and they have to do that every time they they interfere with it, or have to go do repairs on it. Why am I posting this link? Damn it! One second. Okay. Well, like I said, you need to do your presentation. Yes. Uh, we'll figure that out. We'll be on the I'll talk to you over on those. We'll get side. that together. Yeah. Yep. Um, I do appreciate those pictures, though. That was pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same here. That was that was really cool. Oh, and to the person who asked me to walk down the whole thing, <laughs> um, not even the engineers are allowed to do that when it's running. So <laughs> there you go. You got your answers. All right, sir. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here because I think I've been streaming. I've been streaming for three hours. Um, let's see. I don't see anyone worth the saying is on. So, um, yeah, um, I probably won't be back on later. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I have practice, so I got to get out of here. And um, anyone, have, you know, want to promote anything? Alan, you've been Lego presentation lot. coming soon. Yes, <laughs> uh, Montreal. But I appreciate you being here, my friend. It's always fun with you on. You always stir things up in a respect respectful way. Pleasure as usual. Sean. And you did a cool thing today, by the way. You admitted you were wrong. Oh, that's, that's, yeah. that's big of you. Oh, man, if I'm wrong, I want to know why, why I'm wrong and how I'm, I can be right the next time. That's how I look at it. Um, that's the whole reason. We, More people I, should take a... Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, I mean, that, that's what a, a truther is. A truther isn't someone who is fixed on a truth. A truther is someone who wants to know the truth. So if you're wrong in your truth. You must adjust it. It's the way life is. It sucks. Uh, it definitely takes you. You have to drop that ego at the door, as I call it, and uh, and admit when you're wrong. Otherwise, you don't want to ever be wrong, or you don't ever want to be right. Uh, 
Agreed. Kudos to you. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Sean, you want to say you got any last words or anything? No, man. Uh, I, I had a really cool time. Uh, that was a uh, that was an awesome presentation. Uh, it was really cool to see the two separate places like that get the that gravitational wave. That is, it, it was just stunning to me to, just to see them. Yeah. Um, so thank I, you, to I, Sasha, for that. Yeah, I've been doing some research on it too since he told me he had gotten back, he was going out there and everything. So I got a little bit of I'll be showing a couple of things on it when we when we do get that the date of a presentation set up because I know he has a lot of pictures. He has a ton of pictures and he has a lot he wanted to talk about. Um, it may you know he was a little caught off guard right now, but then again I think he wasn't. I think he knew I was going to say something. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, but it's going to be a good presentation because I'm very interested in because I always thought they were. I, I never really got a good understanding, and I have a lot of questions about how it works because there's some things I, I don't understand and don't make sense. So it's going to be fun. It'll be a good presentation. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, I, I was going to give a presentation uh, earlier for Travis about uh, ground penetrating radar. Uh, and, you know, just because I wanted to show him how, how uh, you know, you could pick up something with pretty good accuracy going through the ground. Hey. You ever want a spot? I'll let you do it here, man. That'd be awesome. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, I'll set it up sometime. Okay. Hopefully when it's not like the middle of summer. <laughs> For real. <laughs> uh, well, uh, Alan, you got any last words or anything? Pineapple belongs on pizza. God damn it, Crash. Thank you. Wait, what did you just say? You said it belongs I on... I agree with him. No, he says it does not belong on oh, pizza. Okay, it does not. Okay, uh, perfect. It does belong on pizza. I don't even... I didn't hear you. You were roboting. The pineapple does belong on pizza. Blasphemy. No way. Uh, no way. Uh, I... Uh, who are you? That's disgusting. I'm getting... I'm, oh, man. I'm, well, I'm going to leave on a good note. How about this? Canadian bacon is not real bacon. Either is UK. Bacon is bacon. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> All right, well, we're done with that. Um, thank you, guys. It was a fun one. Today, actually, I had a lot of fun. Um, a lot of questions I, I have now. Actually, I have more questions than I did have answers before we... Uh, started this so we'll be looking into a lot of things can't wait for that presentation from sasha um on ligo because that i'm definitely interested in and i know he has a lot more to say and uh to show on it so you're out for that and like i said this weekend i'm definitely going to do a geoengineering um climate change type uh stream only um i got some lot of stuff that i want to go on in fact um i i kind of have a reason to think that uh we were involved in the, the bombing of the saudi arabian oil uh, refineries and i think i can show you why i'm not sure but i think i can show you why um and how it's affecting us in a good way so uh hopefully you guys will be down for that this weekend and then other than that i'll see you guys tomorrow probably a little later but uh i'll be around tomorrow peace
Thank you.